Got all the tokens made. Chump, fire, fire them through at me. I'll update them at some point to something a bit more. Yep. Send me the raws as well, the raw images, so I can give us a good art style. Um, boom, boom, boom. Who here, Bar Tom, feels oh, I confident? I sent you this stuff. Sorry. Who here, who here, Bar Tom, feels confident in giving a recap? I can try. Not me. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. So. What the fuck happened last session again? Um, we went into a torture chamber or whatever, saw um, Chris, some godforsaken who knows what woman, I guess, uh, chained up to the wall. We freed her after some back and forth, uh, after which she sprinted out, not even a thank you, just completely disappeared. Uh, then we went to check a hallway, saw a staircase going down, I believe, and Aura said, all right, good luck, uh, I'm out. Uh, placed a, a big rock in front of the door so that nothing could chase us, and then we went to take a long rest in the bathhouse. Um, however, before that happened, uh, there were a bunch of dark blades, I believe they're called, shape-shifting figures, uh, that sort of ambushed us. Not really. It was kind of unsuccessful, really. Took a long rest, went back down, and... Uh, the fuck happened then? All oh, right, we got in a fight here with some of those um, uh, what's it called, Orcus people, whatever the, um, the hand. Fists of Bane. Fists of Bane. There you go. Uh, not Orcus. Uh, and there was a woman trapped under the rubble upstairs, or well, above me, really, um, who turned out to be a dark blade, and that's why I know that they can shape change. And I believe that was about it, really. Um, kind of went slow. <laughs> And still managed to get it pretty fast. Noise, noise, noise. Oh, and I, I think uh, fucking what's his name, Doctor Evil, uh, managed to discover that we uh, stole his his uh, <laughs> guard medal and are currently in the process of reproducing it. I don't think he was aware that you had uh, were reproduced, had stolen it, or reproduced it. But you were doing oh, yeah, something. I, I succeeded on a check. No, okay, R Rupert doesn't know, but uh, Percy oh. knows. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even know you stole it in the first place. I wasn't told about it. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't steal it in the first place. I got it. Was it oh, your place? Was it your place to know who done what? No. Yeah, I find. I find. Well, I mean, well, what I'm saying is, oh, did wait? Were you like legitimately not the person who stole it from me? He legitimately. Yeah, wasn't. I didn't steal it. No. <laughs> oh, okay, I was about to think because I was about to say. Okay, I wasn't I'm even fine. in a fucking bathhouse. <laughs> I was outside you never bludgeoning know. some nobleman to death with my hammer. You never know. I'm kidding. Well, so, right. As it were, you stand in this room after your bloodied, grizzled fight. First of all, we'll remain level 2 because warlocks and spells. You hear the shouts come through of someone, and I forget what they said, but, you know... It sounds distressful. And that's where we pick up. Uh, first of all, is not here as a, as a player, but there she is. Oh, yeah. Who's Gia then? Uh, Zeria. Uh, Zeria, yeah. What? You weren't uh, here when her. they found her. Oh, yeah, oh the, it's, the, it's the weird one. It's uh, the one that like stayed behind or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I'm lost in the dungeon right now, apparently. Oh, fuck me. Okay, Corby scared me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought something was running up to me, <laughs> like, very fast. A Corby out of nowhere. Can I try to make my way to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. He's all Hi, guys. Nice to I, I got uh, lost. Does, does Aura know that she's friendly? Or does some random girl yes. just walk up to her? Yeah, he, he was there. He helped save her. Let's see, Corby, you enter into this particular room here. I've got to make sure I'm on the right page. Oh, I am! Flickering torches in the wall, sconce light. Flickering? Four flickering torches in the wall, sconces light. This particular collapse crypt. In an open sarcophagus in the middle of the area, filled to the brim with blood and spillage streaking up the sides of the sarcophagus, pulling around its base. It lies half buried with rubble all around it. You can see the dripping prints from where the women or such that had shapeshifted had passed by coming to yourselves 
can I search the room and then yeah I, yep. I just have like not not go into the um, sarcophagus of blood <laughs> but just search the rest of it yeah yeah well, you go ahead well, investigation check twelve yeah. you think a few odd pieces torn clothes and all manner of broken bones there's been a lot of ritualistic sacrifice in here and um, you also happen to find five gold just strewn around hey. that, there's nothing okay. it, nothing out of the ordinary that you wouldn't expect to find in a ritual sacrifice chamber I suppose if you have any experience with those <laughs> no um, I will I'll give one gold to everyone but possible as soon as he's not here Oh, one gold? <laughs> Fuck me, mate. I'm <laughs> yep. Have you actually paid me for that thing I did for you? Yeah. <laughs> you did? Yep. How much did you pay me? Uh, in love. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, mate. Fuck you. <laughs> you, well, you, didn't, this. you didn't ask for payment. Well, that's true. It is kind of my fault, yeah. Uh, I was about to ask you to roll a deception check there. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yeah. Can I go in and um, grab a longbow from one of the <coughs> dead Bainites and then go and use that to sort of stir and test the bottom of the um, of course. Yeah. blood sarcophagus? Of course. I have no issue with your macabre. As you, it's easy enough. You grab one of the big longbows, so you stick it in, and you just start stirring this grim and vile soup that's what it really is in the end you know, scrape the bottom it's you get maybe about halfway up the longbow and it does seem to kind of fluctuate you know maybe you give it an inch or two every now and then probably just out the stone but nothing seems to bob up either no odd skulls or eyeballs or such no Everything, I don't know what this is. everything here is thoroughly blended. Uh, turns out, I think she um, legged it. There might be some other kind of passage we missed. You know, the sarcophagus reminds me of when one of the watchmen fell off the walls. It was a gruesome sight. Or you can hear thuds and clangs, and also the occasional uh, groaning coming from the north. Yeah, I don't really like sarcophagus. I was trapped in that and didn't I don't like that. Do you know what the noise is? That's my... me. More, more skeletons, maybe? Yeah. Hmm. Probably uh, uh, undead. Am I supposed to see this room up north? Is this yeah, the you now notice that part of the wall is missing. It wasn't when you walked past this area. Uh, could I make a perception check to see if I hear anything else beside the, the groaning? Yeah, yeah. Like people walking or if they're close by, you know. Oh, you're getting good rolls tonight, Garth. What's going on? This is the first roll I made tonight. And it's a good roll. <laughs> you can hear sp what would essentially be sploshing footsteps, but more of a rhythmic pattern to them. You can also hear sort of like sloshing of water. The rhythmic footsteps. You gather there's probably a battle on some soggy land happening close by. All right, uh, I'll see we go this way then. Eradicate all the virgin. Is that okay? Wait, first of all, is there gas in this room before fucking Corby walks in here? <laughs> <laughs> it's a survival check. I'm, I'm not gonna make that same mistake. No, it does, however, smell rotting like um, all right. corpses rotting. Oh, that's alright, I can live with that. I uh, just don't want an explosion in my face again. <laughs> uh, go to me! Oh, no gas. You can come in. 
Uh, I'd like to uh, politely knock on this door. You come up to the swollen wooden door, the water, about knee high. Again, you know, difficult to range. You walk up to the door and give it a bang. Shit. You watch as the water by your feet even ripples. I said, I said polite knock. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that how you politely knock on people's doors? You fucking bang? Yeah, I'm fucking full South Lanarkshire. Please open up. Bang, bang, bang. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll open a door. Your right. roll initiative. Oh. One of us? You oh. don't hear roll initiative. <laughs> what lines? <laughs> Ten. Let's fucking go! I forgot to cast Shield of Faith on me beforehand. Oh, um, fuck me. Huh? God damn it, Rupert and Toto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, of course the wizard rolls high. Yeah. Um, by the way, I have a question. Do of you... course, wait, you're a wizard. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> do you fuck with the rule that creatures can't move through a hostile creature's space? Or do you uh, count it as... You know, difficult terrain. Or I treat the hostile creatures like player characters. Two hostile cre a hostile creature can't pass by two player characters. All right, so these motherfuckers can't just walk past me in his little corridor. Uh, no, they could. No, they could. Yeah, yeah, they could. Let me just um. Shit. <laughs> See that big gap right there? <laughs> well, it's not that big, mate. It's a so squeezy gap. It's a squeezy gap. It's difficult to ring. I'll right. turn the grid right back down so it's barely anything. This is the combat music. Jesus fucking Christ, why is everything so quiet? So is the skeleton single? Potentially. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know his. Maybe he has a skeleton wife. In a beautiful house. <laughs> oh! Letting the days go by. Oh, these poor oh, skeletons. No. They're absolutely fucked. Zeria, you hear the door open up. Gotta turn that timer off to apologize. You hear the. <gasps> of the zombie. skeletons. The rickety racketing of bones. As Orr makes you aware that shit's happened. Well, guys, I think we're up for some shit. And. Uh, play yeah. a vault. As I can see it here. Where is it? Oh, baby! Yeah. Let's go! Yeah. Oh. Yeah, baby. Um, Match yeah. damage. Fuck me. Beautiful. And because I'm a weak little shit, uh, I'm like, ah, so zombie. <laughs> Bye. And that's my turn. Zombie at the very fucking back. <laughs> what can he see is the question I should ask myself first and foremost. See Aura. He can now see Aura. Yeah, but practically, Stupid these gosh. walls are so fucked. Like, ugh. Take his little short bow and poing! Oi! Fuck off! As the toothpick hits you and bounces off a six, it is nothing. No, that is a six to hit. Don't worry. This next skeleton will meander up, you know. Looks at you, vacant stare, thousand yard. It takes out his short sword and just lunges forward. That's a 19 for five. Yeah, alright. Are <clears throat> uh, you doing your health or will I? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yep. Uh, do 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 Phenomena. Do 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 do. Phenomena. <laughs> well, it's Wee Charlie's turn here. Wee Charlie can see the doctor. Gonna clink his little bow up and fire at the nerd in glasses. It's a 10 for 8. It says the nerd in glasses. <laughs> That yeah. does not hit. Final Skelly Boy will walk up, short sword in hand, and as it does, will lunge towards Or. Um, I'm going to ask the dumbest thing possible. I'm going to ask you to make an attempt not to be shoved prone. Uh, it's athletics, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah athletics, strength base. 
you fucking You're not me? prone. I'm not. You are. Oh, okay. An yeah, 11. So you say you're not prone. Jacken. Jacken away downtown. Okay, hello. Dead. There we go. I have to give my drill to my dog. Okay, here, Jalvin. That's it. Hello. Jalvin, 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 Jalvin. Come down, see Ore lying on the floor as you throw the javelin at the fucker here, and as it does, impales. Did anyone else your turn? That's it. That's it, yeah. Cool. Or realise that knocking you prone is as useless as an ashtray in a motorcycle, but you know. It's pretty useful. Uh, Alright, first of all. Here you go. Uh, second of all, I'll meander over. Hello. Uh, yep. And pass. <coughs> You fucking kid! Are you kidding? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> and that's got a uh, or that's got like a radius, doesn't it? Five feet. So it's these three. Oh, five foot centered upon you. Yeah. Rocket, rocket, rocket. All right, so he fails. What damage? Let's fucking go! Ooh! You know what? She's a burns this made up. This a big just fucking mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about skeletons. That I have a giant hammer. Did it else your turn? Uh, I'll, I'll float my uh, pecs around and, in the hopes of, of taunting them. Uh, that's my turn. First of all. Alright. Uh, dude. Dude. I would like to cast the Glock 19 on this skeleton. Well, sir, we use M1911s. Uh, an 11. You got 19 blasts, the motherfucker? <laughs> It was with the one damages, guys. Um, <laughs> misses. Everyone's in awe of uh, cheers. First roll. <laughs> then, anything else with your turn? Uh, they moved 5, 10, 15, 20. Nope, that's it. <laughs> oh. Difficult terrain, so 15 is. Water. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no, then I would just be here. Because 5, 10. Oh, wait, no. Right here is fine, yeah. There we go. Here we go. Ending. Repair. Yes. Alright, here's hoping my Glock 19 will hit. I like to cast Firebolt on the same skeleton. Of course. A classic move. 15 for 3 does in fact hit as you... This one goes up next to you all and you watch the... Cinders to pile of ash before he sees the set of boots and two little femurs. No, not femurs. Uh, two calves and a set of boots. Yes, yes. Burn in the science of Baldur's Gate. That is all. You mean uh, you mean a fiddler? Mm. Yeah. 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 So the uh, the skeleton that's far away. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try and shoot that one. Fuck him up, Corbett. Twenty one for five hits. You. And then a whole range of uh, ghostly ravens swarm around my arrow, and I'm going to use this to move it 15 feet if it fails a strength check. 15 feet uh, backwards, is it? No, towards me. Oh, uh, he yes. just passes. Yes. Well, at least they stole it. Oh. Forgot about that feature. Did it's it really good. Done? And that's it. Thank I'm you. Ranged. Zillia. Okay. I'm gonna move, see if I can see. Yeah, I see one of them. They are bored. Not on me, please. No, I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna insult you with that one, but you just start clicking your fingers and everyone watches as the spark just fails to ignite. Did you need a light? You fucking muppet! It's difficult terrain, so that's your maximum movement is half, so 15 is as far as you can get there. Okay, so I stay there. That's good. And that's my turn. Squiggly. Whoops, I keep talking in Elvish. Whoops. <laughs> I don't think she actually understands Elvish as well. 
little zombie guy comes in after that one. He was still always going to get close. Kind of wraps the bowl around the back of War and just kind of starts to pull him down to collapse into him once more. And uh, these motherfuckers. <laughs> they're hungry. Alone. You're good. You got a 12. This other one can be just. Takes his little short sword once more and slugs it right towards you. 11 for 4 will completely miss. As this next one, can I see what's going on? You know, put yourself in an awkward situation. And these are not the smartest creatures, they're just hungry. We'll take it a slash 19 for 6. Miss. You need to say miss. Mm. Uh, what do you mean? I thought you said miss and less, sir. Oh, uh, it does, yep. Shield of Faith. Yeah. Yeah. What, you thought I was lying? Yeah. What the fuck? I thought you were being sarcastic. I could have hit this guy with my sword. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Nine, three, yeah. You're gonna swing your sword, but he's gonna bring it in. Complete miss. Nothing but bone on these guys. Okay, that's it. Cool. Hmm. Oh. Ah, sorry, uh, one to my right. Uh, Shabang. Are you fucking... Might as well just end it. <laughs> Cavern falls, you all die. Did I know it's your turn? Uh, no. Farcible. Could I, oh, actually, oh. could I close the door from here? Never mind, that's a fucking dumb idea. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, if you want to be on your own... Ah, oh, well, uh, <laughs> Door walls oh, so Close the door. I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyways, I cast Eldritch Blast on Tony right here. I cast Eldritch Gat, got it. Uh, how are we looking there? Good. Yep, full, good. Uh, one second. 14, 14 for 8. Hit. Gonna fire in, you watch his bones just start to <laughs> all over the place as this one just explodes with the force. Did anyone else your turn? Uh, 5, 10. <laughs> That's all. Again, yourself, what are you doing? Me again, I cast Firebolt. Oh. I'm not gonna insult you with that one, he's gonna you're gonna watch it. And it's almost saying just poor 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 skeletons. I think I might be a feel like Anyway, that's the end of my turn. Corby. Uh, I'm gonna shoot the one I shot last time. Of course. Uh there's like so much temptation to joke and see the string snaps. Sure. <laughs> you just start pulling away. It's maybe you're a bit exhausted, who knows, but you can't seem to get it as you fire it. Did anyone else your turn? Nope. No how. Zidia, we're on round three. Can we fuck up two skeletons in two rounds? Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna move a bit closer and then fireball the one uh, on the left. Close. Oh my god. That's doing it, and I'm like, shit, and I go back there. Skeleton here is just gonna start thriving his way into ore. That's uh, so a 12, which will miss. The oh. other skeleton. Yeah? What? I just seen Q clicking, I don't know why. I thought it was pretty draw attention. I'm gonna move this dead skeleton over here so that way I can see what's going on. So this our skeleton shambles in forwards, takes one. Look at Q with the short sword and immediately tries to take a swing. That's a six for three, which will miss. Jack, and you're up. Yeah, I'm gonna target the scout next to me. Alright. Head on the sword. Three. A 14 for seven will hit. A nice nice smite as well? If you want to. Is it overkill? I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. Three. Oh, That's you. overkill. Fuck me. <laughs> 17 21 as you just bring them down. Oh, Didn't need to do that. Big damage, poor guy. That seems a little excessive. <laughs> Gark. Miss. Oh, 18 for fortune. Bring it in, it, bonk it down. Is it. Uh, can I meta game here? Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Don't worry. Mechanically, oh, it makes well. sense. I haven't classed that one as metagaming. It's in all RPGs. 
She's gonna bring it down. You watch, she just crumbles into nothing. Let's go! <clears throat> and I will now. Stay the Why? Why do she... we keep opening <clears throat> random doors? In this particular room, now that we have. Look, I've been doing prep work, guys. There's sticky notes. <laughs> Uh, this one here is marked as that an eight. That's an eight. This flooded room was once clearly a cellar. There's all manner of broken bottles and you know racks now crumbled away, deteriorated, and rotted into nothing. There were also skeletons here that uh, no longer are here. You're welcome. Is there anything there? It looks like it used to lead somewhere, but it has collapsed since. Hmm. Okay. You can see there's little spouts of water just flowing through it. <clears throat> Whoa! The fuck? I think there's a cat out back. <laughs> Hello. Wait. Oh, please don't be people at the fucking door. Don't care. Yep, there you go. Uh, was, was there anything special? No. I don't know why, but this roommate out to the right it looks like a us to me, but it looks nothing like a us. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm, I'm sane. I'm normal. Wait a minute. Really quickly, does anyone happen to have a pair of... Uh, wood carving tools or a, a, a pair of smithing equipment. I need them for a special little upgrade. Surprisingly, I don't. I don't have that kind of shit. I'm sorry. Damn! Now I can't. Then I can't make a, my uh, Eldritch can. <laughs> You need smith's well, tools for that. That's fucking. Wild. I need smith. I need smith's tools or. Uh, Woodcarver tools, which are not, which neither of which I actually start out with. Hold on. Can I, um. Uh, if you give me an hour, I can create smith tools for you. Uh, wait, actually, hold on, let me check something real quick, because I, I feel like I should have a pair of tools on me, but I don't. No, I don't think you get it. I think you get some. You you get thieves' tools on have, you. I I get I get thieves' tools, but those don't count. Okay. Um, do we stealth? What would I owe you? Uh, how much money you got? I'll make a donation of two gold. Fuck off. Alright, fine. On it, costs, it costs a thousand percent more you than hear that to even fights, create it. You hear all manner of noises, Corby. You soon see this man. Oh, yep, gotta turn it down a moment. See a man that looks a bit like Vinnie Jones if he was retarded. You can say that. Vinnie has doors for you. He does, you hear Gark, you see. B Tech Vinny Jones fighting with another hooded figure as he does the fight. Hello. Oh, hi, Meg. Good girl, but there's no fish fingers for you. Please leave. Oh, I'd love some fish fingers. Meg, stop licking my fucking plate. <laughs> Go. Leave. Leave. Do you have Bye -bye. tools? Bye -bye. We need tools. <laughs> He's fighting Meg. It's the ultimate oh, boss should. battle, a greyhound. It is like speed of 200. In this particular area uh, here. Beyond the AC hall. Of 69. <laughs> Beyond the hall, this flooded chamber opens to a rough hewn step climbing to the south and the north. The northeast. The brick floors buckle up of the waterline in the middle of the room, forming a small island. Corpses and douche chort torches float <clears throat> in the water around the island. Atop which, two men circle each other with weapons bore. One of the men, tall, unarmoured brute, unarmoured brute with a great club, 
and his scarred face towers above his opponent but is gravely wounded. That was timing. The smaller figure, muscular, bare chested, clutches a bloody dagger in one hand, a torch in the other. And as he pulls down the hood, you can see a crazed look in his eye. And all across his head, you can see the skin vanishes to nothing but bleached bone. See here. Could yeah. could this be the road figure that ran away from us? Potentially, they never took their hood off, to my knowledge. No, no, okay, yeah. But it's a similar type road, that's what I was. Yeah. Yeah, okay. He watches, he turns. Oh. I see you've brought friends, Mortlock. As the Brit turns round and looks. Do not my <laughs> dagger plunged directly into his stomach as the man looks. Job's done. Rips the dagger clean out as you watch the towering figure comes to his knees. The man immediately runs to the steps to the north. Can we just not do anything in this whole uh, encounter? That was everything just, that's supposed to happen is you are creeping up. We just watched that happen from like 10 feet away. <laughs> just you, like, have, yeah. you have 300 foot. By all accounts, it should have happened over here. Well, it didn't. Yeah, because I forgot you had 300 foot. <clears throat> so this lad is dead, yeah? No. He's on the ground oh. coughing and bleeding profusely. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll pull out the mace. Uh, do we give him a mercy kill? I mean, I can <laughs> save his life. Maybe, maybe a kill for you too? Also, do we give him a mercy kill? Hold on, we can get information out of him, possibly. I would like right. to use Spare the Dying to, I, I guess, if that's possible. Uh, for, for this, I'll say it, yeah. As you give him that and you watch as the wounds stabilise up as he starts coughing. Who yes. are you and why are you down here? No. My name is Mo Motlock Van Thumper. I was sent here by my, my mother. And Jesus I've been betrayed. <laughs> Can we please mercy kill this dude? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't want to listen yeah. to an interrogation ten <laughs> minutes long of this. <laughs> well, we might not want to kill him and maybe just like bring him with us outside with mom. <laughs> Fuck his mom. <laughs> but, I mean, if enough, you insist. But... <laughs> <laughs> Mortlock's um, mom is gone. But <laughs> while they're, going you know, while they're dealing with the the speech impediment, dude, can I check these chests for potential traps? Of course you can, by all means. You want me to make multiple checks? Uh, one check disadvantage. Traps. Uh, I go away because uh, I'm like, yep, uh, no. Oh shit! Can I help myself? Can I give myself <laughs> <the> help. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I'll let you know right now, these chests are very ornate. The short stent of stairs climbs to the small chamber with the four padlocked chests in the middle of the room. They are locked. Right, you can tell that they are very heavy. You can see... I have a very good solution for this. Sorry to interrupt. I, I keep thinking that you're done with your sentence. Sorry. <laughs> because you take like a pause. I'm sorry. You see each and every one of them on their little lock. There's a talon, the specific colour: red, blue, green, and white. I'm colour blind. Uh, I smack the chest. <laughs> As you do, whoa, you watch. Whoa! Did you see that? <laughs> Holy shit! What? Did you see like the weapon flying off to the uh, north? Oh yeah, it does that. Why would I do Sorry. 
Mm. As you bring it down onto the chest, the very second the mace creates contact, you watch as it <laughs> repels the mace immediately off, damn near dislocating your arm in the process. Giddy. Well, at least it's not moving. Uh. Oh, what is that? Do we have. Do we have dynamite? I would I if I had a cannon. cannon. I would if <laughs> I had smith's tools or wood carving tools, but no. It'll cost you 50 gold. Hell no. It, it, it almost costs that much to make it, mate. <laughs> it's expensive. Yeah. The big man looks up, lying on his back. Uh, who? Uh, who are you? He starts uh, to rasp. Greg from accounting. Is that literally the name that Ori used at the very beginning of the game? <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> See, uh, looks up. Bubba's accountants. Brother Trustwell. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I haven't been able to understand a single word he's been saying. <laughs> Mother's accountant, brother Trustwell. Uh, okay. Uh, y yes, now then. How about this? I help you out, you help us out, and uh, maybe we can get you back to your mommy. He watches his eyes narrow as you say, mother. Or mommy. As he what? looks at you dead in the eyes. Kill mother. Oh. You want well, a death? Maybe. Well, maybe we shouldn't bring him back to her then. <laughs> <laughs> An astute plan, dear. <laughs> Fuck me. So wait, real, real quick. I didn't really understand the first thing you said. Did, did he mention anything specific about his mother? I know he mentioned her before. Uh, sent here by his mother, betrayed, and now he's saying kill mother. Why did your mother betray you? Why did she send you down here? <laughs> it's one of these boxes. <laughs> I like to. I like to announce that there's also pretty good person or. Uh, Pretty good chance, possibility, considering how this dude talks and thinks and looks, um, <laughs> that he's just actually insane. <laughs> and that he just thinks he's delusional and he thinks that his mom is out to kill him. Yeah. Well, I mean, have you <laughs> seen his face? And yeah, but what if, all right, what if we go to his house and his old <laughs> like grandma opens his door and offers us a glass of milk <laughs> and we have Mister, to, we're Mister, supposed to believe that she's actually. You're making like, a lot of assumptions. Evil. Why did your mother send you here? Do, do you know? That's what I just asked. Uh, oh, Mod sorry. Mother uh, receives okay. payments from oh. Dead Three Cult and Brother Amrik. Amrik's and always death. mother's favorite. Mother sent me here to die. Do you want to die? <laughs> in a therapy session <laughs> in the middle of a flooded basement. I'm sure you have to go this is your life so that might transpire sometime. <laughs> Sorry. You want to die? Out of curiosity. Do you, you want to die? Do you have any societal ideas? Like... <laughs> How are we in a scale from 1 to 10? <laughs> oh. no, so this guy would be can you draw your smiley face how smiley are you what degree of smiley are you oh, <laughs> I know. So, oh. as he looks at you mother pays for cultists to kill people she won't run city she one of three members of Council of Four. She wants Raven Guard dead. Convinced him to go out to to meet Favius Krieg. Favius Krieg in city. 
Baldur's hey. Gate, Elturel, gone. More long. If we got you out of here, would you be willing to help us with something? What? We just need you to talk to someone once we're out of here and done examining the location. Who? Uh, hmm. Well, you want your mother dealt with? This man can help you deal with your mother. You deal with mother. <laughs> I'll deal with your. We'll consider dealing with your mother if you come with us. <laughs> uh, roll the appropriate check. This guy's pretty fucking I slow. Think... Oh, he's really fucking slow. <laughs> I, I guess I would have to go with persuasion because I'm basically trying to coax him. I don't really think anything else. Would but work. are you lying to him? I said I'll consider it. So not really. Alright. Um. Ooh. I'm gonna be honest right now. Um. Not one plus one for two. <laughs> 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 you'd only have failed on a nat. You'd only have failed on a nat one. That's beautiful. Ah. <laughs> oh. he sets up. Kill Vaz. He points to the north. Here. Uh, I I guess I can't ask for his exact hit point count. So skill one to twenty five. How well do you feel? <laughs> Here, uh, uh, I'll I'll give you this at least. But you know, follow us and stay towards the back, okay? I'm gonna give him one dose of cure wounds. <laughs> you take one of these. Call me in the morning. Had to be maxed, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. Should we put him? Oh. Should we what? Does he have any what? Should we Very put good. him in handcuffs? Because I have like manacles, whatever they're called. He has we, a uh, big ass great club. I think we should use the manacles on yeah. the cultists for interrogation. Yeah, sure. So, so that I don't teleport whatever on the way. Uh, Consider this, he might be useful in a fight, considering gestures to his... Like, how tall is... Does this guy look particularly strong? <laughs> his face looks strong, at least. Um... <laughs> his face looks strong. Um... He... Yeah. Tower, he is... He is built. Like, you know, I'd say this man spends time at the gym, but, like, the gym spends time at him. Uh, I like... I like to uh, say something. We've known this fella for. I don't even know him. Uh, we've seen this fella for three minutes. And you want to <coughs> bring him into a fight where he can bludgeon us from behind? He <laughs> turns round, um, places his big ass hand out. Mo, well, mo van Dumpa. Hey, um, I don't know where that hand has been. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> I think it could be useful since his mother sent, uh, like, is related to the cultist. Maybe we could use him. Like, have, you, have you considered the possibility that this dude is lying to us and that he is have a you, cultist as well? I just. I would like to note that. Consider this. They literally just stabbed him in, in the gut. I could stab you. As one of your only uh, medical personnel, I wouldn't suggest that. No, but my point is, I could stab you and we're still part of the same team. No, you, we would absolutely be not. <laughs> I am no, going just... to make you a fucking cannon. We are. <clears throat> all, right, all I'm saying is, keep this guy at the back. I don't want him cracking my skull open. That's what I suggested in the first place. Here. Uh, all right. Morlock? Yes? Morlock? 
How about you walk with me and uh, my friend here in the back, Will? We'll help you deal with people in the sewers. As he kind of places his giant ass hand on your shoulder and starts to bring himself up, you're almost brought to your knees with the strength that this man possesses. You've heard phrases, but like this brings a whole new meaning to that particular phrase. He's gonna stands up, kind of shakily for a moment, kind of places the great club down and kind of catches his balance. Mm-hmm. And he turns with this half crooked smile and half the face fused. Gibbs, what he appears, he believes, is a nice, friendly grin. To you, that's unsettling. Ah, uh, Corbett, you were checking for something. Go ahead and roll a, I believe it was an investigation check I'd be looking for there. Mm-hmm. And you said you were looking for, I believe it was false walls, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, over on the left. Uh, solid. Or as, as solid as a leaky wall can be. Um, okay. Wherever the cracks are coming from, it's not connecting here. Okay. Then I'll just keep an eye on the steps while they sort it out. Um, yeah. Should we deal with the, the north, the right? Thing like there? the left north? He went north. Yeah. Do you want to check the chest first or we just leave them there? Ah, uh, don't touch the chest! Ah, uh, they kill you. Okay. Fair Wait enough. A Let me give uh, them a try, real quick, because uh, I have actual thief source. Yep. Just come to, you see a small box and the la- ra- rather large door. Right. From my experience in Icewindell, I am not fucking with any boxes. <laughs> <laughs> if Shaken could do that. Can I, like, open the box? Yeah, as you open the box, you find, um... 60. That's a 6 and a 0. Pieces of wood. And a few wraps. You can... Fathom, you've got enough wraps there to make about six torches overall before you need more rags. Okay. So if you'd like, you can add six torches to your sheet. Uh, oh, I do so. How do I add six torches? Find the torches on your sheet, which you I don't have. Prepared. This man has 10 foot of blind sight, nothing else, and no sources of light. You fuck. He's just been running around only seeing 10 foot ahead of him? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What kind of guess, am I lobbed in with? Gets himself into all sorts of trouble. Oh my god, Rupert. <laughs> well, I didn't want to interrupt. Oh boy. What, what, what is you saying, mate? This is a fucking art piece. Oh, wait, what? Sorry. I don't know why I keep setting itself to Elvis. <laughs> Man's out here speaking second. moon runes. There we go. Now take a look at one of the chests in particular to see any particular traps. Uh, I'd argue advantage since I have Thieves' Tales to examine a bit more thoroughly. Um, they all look locked for the most part. Um, or give them a, a look before giving them a whack. I'm now watching two men in a corner play Tig. Uh, but you can go ahead and make a, a check if you wish. Oh, uh, we're well, not playing Tig. Well, I meant we're like, exploring each other's bodies. <laughs> well, I meant, like, since I have thieves' tools. Um, you checking just the one? So or are you trying to check them all? I'm just checking just this one specifically. And then I'm going to take and then check it. You know. So you're just going to check all four of them, one by one by one by one? Uh, no, I'm going to check this one and then see if they match at all. Considering if one has signs of traps, they might have the same trap on them. Yeah, if you're going to check for some traps, go ahead and roll the appropriate check. So. Then I guess, I, I guess I'd be investigation and I would argue advantage because... Well, actually, specifically in Thieves' Tools, uh, the description... Uh, you gain additional insight when looking for traps because you have learned a variety of common signs that portray their presence. Considering it's thieves' tools, they might have the key to identifying traps, as well as dismantling them. Okay, yeah. 
I don't need that part there in the tool. Love it when the player's handbook doesn't give you that bit. And then... Well, okay. <laughs> part two. Don't look trapped. No poison needles or fuse wires. And then... I guess it wouldn't really detect magic traps, would it? That'd be a whole different thing. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm gonna try to. If, I'm gonna see. Is there a lock on this thing? If so, I'll lock like on all four. It. I'll try to pick this one. Yep. Uh, that'd be. I guess. Thief tools. Sleight of hand with like. If you got oh, the thieves tools, and then tools. we can add the appropriate modifiers if need be. Gotcha. And I'm. Uh, what modifier would that be? Dex. Plus proficiency. Dex. So. Plus, Dex plus four. four. Gotcha. Uh, oh, baby. Three is coming from intelligence. We take one off. That makes 23. Yeah, you pick and you pick and you pick and you pick, but something about this keyhole. It's unfamiliar. Unknowing. Yeah. Ungiving. And sometimes you feel like, you know, a click on one, a bind on two, but then you end up with like a false set somewhere. And it seems to always reset. I too watch Lock Picking yeah. a Lawyer. Okay. Is uh, it given <laughs> what Ore, Ore said, or given what Arby's, I guess. Given what Arby's said. I guess we'll deal with them later. I'll say this. In, in your be... investigation and your pushing around, um, do you know they are very heavy? Or it is very okay. heavy. But all the chests are of the same size and dimension. So they'd probably mm. all be a bit heavy. Mm. Alright, we'll deal with it on our way out, hopefully. Let's meet up with the others. Come on, Mortha. Start moving up through the war. They go left or right. I yeah. think they went right. Yeah, I see Jory. All right. Which is probably gonna press us up against the wall and the wind starts gonna open up again. Yeah, it sits back down and... <sighs> I'm, I'm here. Let's see. Gobi, please keep an eye on Mortlock. See, thick door. A simple handle on it. A bit of rope with four nails make a handle. There is no lock on this door. At least on this side. What do you wish to do, Gark? Fuck me, I was muted the entire time. Uh, I wanted to politely knock, emphasis on politely, instead of banging like a madman. So as you fly kick the door. Yeah. You don't hear anything back. What the fuck? open up the door to see numerous boxes and crates scattered throughout the room, scurrying among them are rats. Uh, that's a lot of boxes. Alright, they can deal with this. Hopefully we don't feel too boxed in. <laughs> oh. And for that you have disadvantage on fucking everything. <laughs> what the hell? Or you see it first. Burnt torch stubs litter the floor of this hall, the western end, which is occupied by three six foot tall painted wooden statues. Each statue stands atop a two foot high bed of red stone, made to look taller and foreboding. The centre statue resembles a heavily armoured man whose face is hidden behind a fearsome visor of his helmet. 
He's painted red, except for his right gauntlet, which is painted black. Clutched in the gauntlet is a blood-red spear pointed upwards. The statue to the north depicts a purple garbled no male noble wearing a harlequin mask, holding a dagger behind his back. The statue to the south portrays a black-robed skeleton with his jaw open wide and bony hands outstretched. Jesus fucking Christ, what an audiobook. Um, I, uh, Presented I saw this dude stab a mentally ill man, so I'm not really going to ask questions, uh, <laughs> and he might be wicked strong, so uh, there we go. Is you fucking kidding me? Oh, I'm going to get everybody to know roll an issue. What kind of shit fucking damage is that, mate? What is wrong with me? See. Well, at least you have advantage. Stands yeah, and looks as the bolt hits. The blood's now pouring down his face. Blood? From Radiant? He's missing, like, the whole skull part skin here. There's blood. He's a crazy look in his eyes. <laughs> Pyre. <laughs> Une, deux, trois. I don't know the numbers four, five, and six in French, and I'm not gonna insult Zadie like that. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Where's Mortlock? <laughs> um, Corby is cuddling Mortlock by the looks of it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Let's get on some something fun, something funky. Let's put on. Walk the dinosaur. Oh, yeah. We're okay. the Mesopotamia. Really? Never All right, fine. We'll play something Witcher inspired. There we go. And kicking us off after that absolute disgusting display is our good friend, the man known as. Vaz, he watches, takes the dagger and the torch in hand, and he just books right towards yourself. Yeah, he gets him. But as he does, he looks at you, Gark, after doing Hello. that, and he watches the eyes start to bulge on one side. I need a wisdom saving throw. I've just asked a cleric to do something wisdom based. I'm a genius. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what I expected, but you you passing was up there. You see, then <clears throat> takes you know, from his inside and just starts throwing and fires two daggers off towards yourself. So a twenty-four and a eighteen. Yeah, both hit. Okay, hold on. Oh, yep, you're good. So uh, b -b -b that there is fifteen damage. Fuck me, mate. Uh, yeah, we're my, my turn, yeah? Just, just a reminder, Shield of Faith is 10 minutes, Gark. I don't know if it's been that long. Yeah, I figured it was. Was it? I'd say that. He's had a good conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on this guy, I'm going to cast a... Uh, Hunter's Mark. Hunter's Mark. And then I'm going to try and shoot him. Alright. <clears throat> You've got advantage. You can crit fish. Oh. Ooh. Right then, I'm just going to uh, fire it off. Yeah. And I'm going to use the, the birds to do d6 damage, so it's 2d6. Yep. As you do, you get to fire that off. You watch as the arrow hits him extremely hard and powerful as you watch as he turns smiles and he's going to use his reaction to reduce the damage to zero. Oh shit, Pog. Yeah, that's a thing that this man has. Uh, hopefully not too many more times. <laughs> that's that's it. Out there. Watch as he takes that good and hard. That's a line I never thought I'd say. Yeah, get it. Alright, first off. There we go. Jump the faith. Here we go. Wee wee. One of me. One of me. Okay. Then, in this campaign, I'm going to find out just how inadequate my French pronunciations are. <laughs> <laughs> A nine for eight will miss. 
Yeah, you reckon? <laughs> Just a hunch. Did anyone else? Yeah, know? I remember the. Oh. Rupat. Yeah, so on. For some reason, I was. Whoops. For some reason, I was. Anyways. Uh. Let's see here. Uh, take a step to the. Oh, fuck! Should have touched. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, it's a shame I don't have a force ballista or anything, but oh, what? I'm... Uh, I cast a uh, firebolt. Uh, 120 feet. That is definitely less. Okay. On the, uh, well, it says death head of ball. So, let's go for that. We balling. <laughs> we balling at what cost? As you click that off and fire, it just hits and you watch it races up all of his robes, burning up many of them as you watch as the blood starts to dry on his face, some of the wounds on his head start to cauterize, and he smiles through it all. 10, 15, <laughs> I'm gonna end my turn back here, because I remember the last time we fought one of these fuckers. Zidia. Okay, I'm gonna move up then. I don't see him. Don't know how. He's right here. Do you have dark vision? Uh, she does, yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, but uh, I really don't see him on the map. Let's get, he's right in front of Orr, so don't worry. This can happen, it's a desync, don't worry. Okay, so I'm gonna fireboard it, but uh, I cannot target it then. Don't worry. 16 for 1. That hits. I'm sorry, can you and... all do anything <laughs> fireboard? And I'm gonna move back there because I'm scared. Understandable. You're scared. Psst, fire okay. off. And it's powerful. Did it else your turn? No. Yeah. First of all, on the outside of it all, Rupert's gonna call out to us. Get in here! Oh, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> That's my first of all impression. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna class that as three quarters Ooh, cover. Yeah, and that like does that like up the AC or up the AC? Pose? Okay, I was just wondering. Uh, you know, what? fuck it, we ball. Do it. Yes. Uh, Wait, actually, I know what to do. Kill the dead. I don't need to roll for that. <laughs> I don't got to see you. They, well, well I can them. see them. The wow meets it beats it. Wow, and I do one damage when they're injured. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the uninjured was more! <laughs> oh, I love this game. Yeah. Continue, that's all. Oh, shit, I've got to end Jacken, can you see him? You can't, he's, yeah. he's lit up like a candle. Okay, I'm not gonna run upside down. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to use my Channel Divinity to restore one spell slot. Okay. Right, let me just do that. I'll just give myself a spell spot. And yeah, of course, and then it. I'll burn off the Channel Divinity for you, no bother. Yep. So I'm going to attack him with my sword. Rocket. A 12 for 10. I'm not going to insult you with that one there, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Okay. He death's head of Baal as he looks, he drops the torch at his feet, pulls out another dagger, daggers in both hands. Oh hell yeah. Starts spinning them up. As he does, you've taken that swing up as he kind of looks at you funny there, Jack, and I'm going to ask you for a wisdom saving throw. Oh, That's my oh, oh there's man. the good rolls. He kind of looks at you and you just, you just kind of look at him like, fuck you doing bro? He then kind of takes both these little daggers and just runs them up, one towards yourself, one towards Orr. So Jack and Orr at Orr, 26 for 7. Yeah? Okay, now take another 7 damage. Aura of Murder. Anyone within five foot takes a piercing attack, takes double damage. Yeah. Knocked on, he's gonna 
turns to yourself, Jack, and holds a dagger down at Orr. Corby. I can I can see him from where I am, so I'm just yep. going to try shoot him. Yes, well, got my little table ready. Twenty-two for four. We. Oui. Same thing. That's like three d six total, isn't it? Yeah. Two d six comes from the crow thing, right? No, one d six from the crow, one d six from hunter's mark. Okay, okay. It's a total of fourteen damage total. Just, just, just out of interest, is he immune to his? Murder of Baal thing, area where you take double damage from. Um, as long is as the Death's Head is not incapacitated, hostile creatures within five uh, foot gain vulnerability. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Good looking at it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's my turn. Okay. Kill, kill, speed, ripper. Uh, I'm too far away to save your ass, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, anyways. A uh, fireball from the dead! Yeah, wait, actually, what might be better? This bit? No, the fireball. Just misses. So, just misses? So just the AC misses. is between like 14 and a 16 or something? Between a 14 and Probably. a 22. I just low balled it. Heh, <laughs> low ball. <laughs> Between 14 and 16, yeah. That's what you've got there. You're gonna fire that one off and it just narrowly misses. You're gonna watch it cooks up the side of his head a little with residual. Did I announce your turn? Um, I guess I'll start making my way towards uh, Ori Ori. I guess. You hear that, Gark? You're just an afterthought. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna move so I can. I still cannot see him. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, he's still in the same place. Uh, you can see okay. him. Uh, your character can see him. He's now full, yeah. no obscu obs obscuration. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. This is sad. And I go back to my place. Did it else your turn? Yeah. First of all. Uh, no spells that would help you in this situation. <laughs> you have focus- do you not have a focus? Or is it uh, a costly material? I don't know. What's the spell which... you're thinking of? Witch Bolt. Witch Bolt? Uh, Witch Bolt- I need bolt a twig a... that has been struck by lightning. A twig that's been struck by lightning. You have... I believe you've got like a compo yeah, you've got like a component pouch there, so that's class as your component. Only uh, only spells that state item X item worth X amount, so like a, a diamond worth 300 gold, that's when you specifically need the item. Any other one, component pouch or arcane focus. Okay, thank you. Uh, Identify as one of those ones that requires it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, does this call for it? Do I really need to? Uh, hold on. That's five, ten, fifteen, fifteen. Ah, uh, yeah, he's in range. Fuck it. Uh, I'm gonna ball him with some dissonant whispers. A fun as one. As he whis as uh, tuneful whispers his internet browsing history, <laughs> his candle keep atone history. <laughs> e. Wisdom saving through DC 13 saves. And I believe it's. Is it save or suck? Good question. Um, and then I'm, I'm reading it real quick. Successful saves, half damage. Okay. So, uh, four, four psychic, psychic damage. Yep. I know you search um, sexy hags in my area. She was wrong. gorgeous. <laughs> Jackin. 17 for uh, 10 will hit. I'll smite as well. Kill. Cool. Uh, Divine smite. 22 damage, and I'll just react to that one there real quick by oh. doing the old Logan Paul. Did it announce your turn? 
Um. <laughs> yeah. Kill. Yeah. Move over to the death's head. He sees you after doing that, and not very happy. You know, I mean, God, you bring the gods to his house. This is his house. He's gonna look at you funny once more. Rolling publicly, but at least you know your DC, and at least you know what's going on. Uh, to you, Jackin. So I rolled publicly. I've rolled that public. You, you're always rolling publicly. I've just inadvertently oh, made that well, public. But you, yeah, okay. at least you know your DC. Stunned. The up hand here is you can now read into what stunned actually does in the meantime, whilst I look <laughs> for the fucking thing. No, I have it here. Uh, no, I meant to put it on your sheet. Oh. Oh, stunned is a little head going all cookie. <laughs> it ain't there. Duly noted. Well, you're stunned anyway. He's gonna walk and wade into the water as he sees you, Corby. He's just gonna take both his daggers and just plunge up into you. What? Wait, before he does that, does my sentinel fee not go off with disadvantage? You're stunned. But it says I get a type of disadvantage now. Uh, a stunned creature is incapacitated, can't move, can't speak, only faintly. Incapacitated. Incapacitated. Can't take actions or reactions. Oh, gotcha. It says the stunning gaze is an action. Uh, multi attack. Death's head uses stunning gaze and makes two dagger attacks. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, this is a Ooh. fucking deadly fight. Uh, Corby, 23 and 19. You got anything? Nope. Uh. You take 28 damage. Yeah. We're so lucky we're not playing with those rules where uh, I have to ask that, you to make a con save. Can I, is it two concentration two. checks? Yeah. Do I take it twice? Yeah, it'd be two concentration checks. So two, just need two tens. Yeah, okay. Yep, just uh, cover it with the... Yep, perfect. Fantastic. You're up. Taking two meaty little daggers to the chest and somehow came out of it alive. I had to count that in case I'd knocked you clean out. Yeah, uh, well. And um, I am just going to read what I can do. Of course. Okay. Uh, in that case, yep. I am going to hit with my sword, miss. Hit with my dagger, miss. And then that's it. Right. As it were. <laughs> you know, watch as he comes out more, kind of stirs once more from the behind. Kind of keenly awaiting his triumphant Rupert. Uh, because we need you in the fight, you get a cure wounds. <laughs> You've been boiled down to your base value. <laughs> Seven, there you go. <clears throat> gonna lie there, oh, I... coming up, it's sore. You're in a lot of pain. Alright, are you alive? You're not getting any fucking money. I don't care right now. Anyways, that is my turn. Oh, Mor Morlock decided to join the fight. The guy's right there. It's what we call an attack of opportunity for lack of better. I'm sorry, Great Club Base? I need you to explain this shit right now. Hmm? Oh, okay, it's to do- oh, it's to do with Mortlock's damage? What the fuck? He's gonna take the Great Club, you watch there, Corby. He's gonna wind it up and just throws all reckless abandon into the back of it. He does you this bone-crunching crack and split. He's gonna watch as the man's face just seems to shock. You watch his crack starts to run down his skull. Mortal kind of brings it up once more and straight down. He does 
you know, watch this part of that skull just vanishes. Even just brain. See you, Okay. Uh, can I see him from there? Since I can. He's moved. The... What? He's moved. He's all the way out of the room now. Uh, there? No. He he's over here. Where the peg is okay. so like. I don't think. Can I... You might see him from there. Could I... Can I? Uh, yeah, you can I see guess him. I can... You can half see him from there, so it'll be half cover. Okay, I'm gonna do scorching ray then. That's an action, and you've had to use your action to dash to get there. Oh, okay. Uh, if I have still more movement, then I'm just gonna do that. So and... let me do my math from there. Yeah, so. and if I dash and that's it, uh, that's my turn, I just uh, hide there for now. First one. Mm-hmm, let's see. First of all, could have seen him go down, so that makes sense. Uh, 25... Ten. I love watching people try not to meta game, and it's great. Five, so that's five, ten... Twenty-five? Perfect. See him standing there. Okay. Mortlock swing. Just coming off. Alright, let's see. What is he in range for? One second. Need to measure real quick. Okay, I'm gonna... Let's do... Actually, wait. Hold on. No, wait. He's not in range for that. Uh, Toll the Dead. Ah, fun classic for all the kids and family. Bing bang. Just beats it. Damn it. Alright, well, sucks to suck. Did I know your turn? Yep, that's it. Jackin, now coming to. Boom. You are no longer stunned. You're only stunned for one round. Why well, for us until his next turn? Right, it, um, um, I'll double check it. It's now then. Uh, until the end of its next turn, so it's the end of your next turn, so yeah, you are stunned. Yeah, yeah. We run back to our old friend. He's gonna take a look at your boy Mortlock for that one there as he does. Oh, next. He's gonna Mortlock looks at him. Survives. I wasn't expecting that one either. And he takes oh. his dagger and stabs in towards Corby and then up in towards Mortlock. Kind of that, you know. Staying alive maneuver. Uh, 13 on Corby just misses 26 for 16 on Mortlock. Corby! He's still alive? I thought he was injured. Huh. Sorry, Dean. Uh, yeah, getting a bit panicking. I'm going to try and do the same thing. Stab him again. 18 for 7 hits. Uh, and I'm going to. I was going to say, do you like 2d6? Uh, I'm trying to make him um, move with the thing. Okay. Uh, uh, DC 13 strength save, correct? Yeah. Okay. Is this effect class as magical? I'm probably. It doesn't say it's a spell, but probably. Uh, base 20 before advantage. So. And then try and snap like that. That's fine. Then, then, then he... Oh, I forgot to take off all that fucking damage there that you've done. 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. Gark. Oh, Stand up. Uh, what, what is he, like, wearing? At this point, very little. His robes are all frayed and burnt up. Um, not really any metal, but he does hold two daggers in his hands. <sighs> yeah. Fuck it. What's he wearing is the biggest giveaway for I'm using heat metal. <laughs> Shit, I rolled it blind. Can you reveal it? Of course. Oh, oh. So you can fire that one off and he saves. What happens right, if he so saves out of curiosity? Does he take like half damage? Takes, no, he takes six fire damage. Saving throw is uh, to drop the object. Ah, okay. Uh, 
So if it doesn't drop the object, it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the start of your next turn. Not it. Rupert. Well, that's the measuring tool. Let's actually move this time, old man. And... 15, 20, 25, 30, because I don't want to be that close to him. I am looking for him for a date. Uh, Firebolt. Okay. Depart. <clears throat> and no sparks. I accidentally nailed the neighbor's dog. <laughs> Did I ask you turn? <laughs> no. He watches. Once more, Mortlock rises up the Great Club as he does, brings the second one down. Such a weird attack. If Mortlock has taken any damage since his last turn, he does all this additional shit as he does. You watch, he brings it down. You just hear this disgusting, disturbing crack. Corby, you watch as the skull just caves in the eyes go wide with blood as he immediately takes 14 damage and drops to the fucking ground. Holy <laughs> shit, fucking killed him! <laughs> oh, good. You didn't get to use my spell, I'm glad. A wizard that doesn't want to say she's a wizard? Oh. <laughs> uh, good, good job, Mothlock, and also Kobe. Yeah, come here. Uh, consider this one to be free of charge. Corby, you can heal for eight. Appreciate it. He's look around. The aura in this place seems to lift. It's now just dank and weird as opposed to dank and scary. It's... Is there anything on the body? Um, uh, the, you know of two daggers. Do I, um... Can I take the daggers? Yep. Okay. Uh, I've dropped my concentration, by the way. That's okay, you don't worry. To roll heat metal. Um, do I recognize any of these three people, considering their armor and what? Yes. Um, or are they bald and bitch? They are the dead three. Alright, I'll hold Thank you. I got a quick question. Yep. Is there anything around here? Because the, the guy, the, the flaming fist guy that hired us to do this said he needs evidence. I guess, is there anything here worth taking off of the dead cultists that would serve as good evidence, I guess? Not on the cultist, but there is good evidence here. That, oh. that I mean that I can take with me. I mean, he's a bit retarded, but he can still speak. Oh, well, I already assumed him. I was just wondering if there's anything else. There's nothing better than an eyewitness account. Yeah, Corby, right. Corby's trying to get some paper so he can record what Mordok has said and get Mordok to sign it. I, I give a sheet. Thank I you. Have some parchment. Does, no does the death head have um, an amulet as well? Yes. You can see it now, a little amulet of. Is it a different amulet, like to signify that he's higher up in the hierarchy? This one seems to be coloured more than anything, where the. Other ones seem to be carved. The little blood drops all seem to be coloured red around the skull. All right, I'll uh, I'll take the amulet. And before anyone thinks anything funky, well, mm -hmm. never mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was right name, so I know. And then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's look around. You see here, Jackin, the imposing figure of 
one of the dead three. This huge statue looms over. As I see that, I'm... Real quick, let me just check. Uh, so I'll look at a quick read here. Um, your statue resembles her now. Okay, and then it comes up. Cool. So this one here. Um, I'm gonna ask you to do something really dumb. I need from you, Jacken, a charisma saving throw. Charisma? That's what the paladin do, charisma. Of course the paladin gets it. Just like the wisdom goes to the cleric. Stand there looking up at this thing. As you feel this pressure, you resist the urges that seem to be coming. They're present, but you don't care about them. Was it the start? Was it like the presence coming from the statue, or you could assume so? Can I like retaliate and just like kick the statue over? Roll strength check. Uh, it's a village. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I was. I was just about to back off. Your face. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, yes. Roll a D100, Jack. Wait, what? Roll a D100? Jack, Slash you fucked R up. R1 D100, please. <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> Trust the paladin to be a stupid cunt. Yeah. 88. I've just got to find this table now. Businesses. Use this book in so many times this week and uh dun 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 someone give us some good lobby music Oh we're in the right place Rolled an 88 there Yeah hello DM will remember that. Come on, yeah. It actually falls, crumbles, cracks, and explodes. Yeah, damn! Yes. What was that for? I don't know. It seemed evil. You are insane. <laughs> Just putting the right. <laughs> but, but these gods are evil, are they? Am I, am I, is that yeah, the they thing? are. Yeah, they are evil gods. Yeah, okay, okay, I was just making sense. Uh, Check out. Oh, uh, yeah. I just wanted to ask a quick question. Uh, Mortlock, say, would you happen to know the location of a key for those chests over there, by chance? You see that, and he looks, and his eyes widen. No. No go back. No. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. We don't have to go back to that chest room. It's okay. No. She... She have key. No. Okay, it's okay. Your mother, it's okay. That's enough. No. Uh, mother. Watch as he starts to shake almost uncontrollably. Can, can I try to console and say, hey, we're here, we can keep you safe? It's yeah, okay. I'm drowning. <laughs> Real flat charisma. Or persuasion, whatever. Flat charisma? Yeah, I can't think of one to work for it, so just a charisma check in general. Okay. I'm just double checking. I don't have inspiration, I don't think, so I'm. Um, uh, no, you do. It's literally right there on your token. Oh, I do? Yeah, it's the little. Little dice, you Corby, and there was some. Okay, else. I didn't. I didn't realize I still had it. I thought I used it. Carries over, but 
Uh, okay, well, I'm going to use it then, so I can, so I guess just roll twice. Yeah, roll twice, I'll knock off sheep. Okay, uh, just ability check, oh. and then... Oh, wow! Oh! <laughs> as he, as he looks at you, lip, quivering, eye, shaking. Damn it. Hi, welcome to More Consistent Advert Break. So, uh, no news, nothing new here. This is just a good time to pause. Um, remember that we are on Patreon, we are on Coffee, and we are on Twitter. We will also be posting maps soon. If not already, probably maps will be posted by now. What am I saying? It's 2024, he says, uh, on um, 9 minutes past 12 in the morning on October the... 18th, 2023. Yeah, Matt, right? That's what I heard. You heard what you heard? It sounded like it. Um, but I'm just gonna keep that in mind and say, it's all right. You hope, hopefully, if we have our say, you won't have to deal with it. Now, um, uh, Corby, you you were trying to say something earlier. At this point, Cor Corby had taken the paper, he asked borrowed from a Zadia and had written out everything that uh, Mortlock had said earlier mm -hmm. um, to uh, Rupert and then he just he just says Mort Mortlock it will help you if you will sign at the bottom of the page and he's purposely left a little bit of some room between the finish of the writing and the end of the page so we can add stuff extra if we want to um, but yeah he tries to get Mortlock to try and sign um, if he can. Morlock takes a sheet of paper and a pen, the, the, the quill, kind of scores out everything you've written. Give me paper, I tell everything. I can give more paper if someone needs I have a lot. Mm-hmm, good. Give him the paper. He writes the following information, which I will give in a way, and then I will also paste out because there is, there's a lot of it. Mm -hmm. He writes to the Attune. It takes about ten minutes. I was betrayed... Assassins conspired with my brother and mother to kill me. I had not come along. If you had not come along, I would have been dead. I owe this grip. My life. My family pay tithe to the dead three cultists of to murder people in the city. The goal is to prove the Flaming Fist are stupid. Once they stop paying them, Fist will not be in Baldur's Gate. With them gone, my mother can become Grand Duke. Baldur's Gate will follow Elturel's suit if she has her way. My mother is one of three remaining members of the Council of Four governing Baldur's Gate. She convinced Ravenguard to go to Elturel to meet with High Overseer Thavius Creek. Whilst Ravenguard was gone, the fist are vulnerable. The Dead Three receive payments from my brother Amric, who runs a money lending business out of the Low Lantern Tavern. I am frowned upon and think the worst of the lowest of three, Amric the best and has her favour. My older brother Thrustwell spies upon the city. He knows you are here through his network of imps. They have Thavius Creek. And now I'll just get all of that, and I think what I'll do is to be safe, because uh, I know it's going to fuck over. 
I will throw this in the Discord for you instead. Thank you. Thank you. Does he sign it? Yes. Very much so. That's the low lantern. Where did 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 it? Jesus fucking Christ! Could it go any slower? Oh, there we go. Um. So I was gonna put this in like a note section more than anything. Mortlock says. And then I'll split it because for a man with a speech impediment, he sure likes to talk. I feel kind of bad for this man. He, he needs a cookie and a hug. <laughs> Y'all have tried to kill him like four times. You've all brought it up right in his face. <laughs> there we go. That's it. Posted in the Discord under uh, just a note section here in Avernus. And then also technically. Boom. Yeah. Takes about 10 minutes to write that out. Uh, handwriting's not the best. But it's legible. It's legible. Alright, thank you. Um, How about was, this? That's oh, good. Uh, was the chest color coded? Yes. Uh, what, what was the colours again? Red, green, blue and white. Um, since the statue I broke was red, would that, can I check if the chest is open? Yeah. Um, I check? No. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, do me a favour, make a religion check though, just for my own benefit. Yeah, sure. Religion. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you know, fuck the gods. Who are they really? What do they actually mean? You know? Can I make some kind of check to see if I recognize Tiamat's name? Oh, yeah, religion check. Very much so. <laughs> it's a point of contention more than anything where you've been, you know, not so much hushed tones, but disrespect more than anything. It was also her attempted rising not too long ago that seems to spring to memory. Is there any link to the Dead Three in night stories or history? No. Nothing that's coming to her from here. I will say is you can the image of Tiamat and the stories a multi-headed, multi-coloured headed dragon. Talons, colours, the fear of God put into a man at the mere mention? You can connect these dots pretty quickly. The chest is somehow linked to her. Yeah. What are they doing here though? Did they steal them? Morlock. Morlock. Huh? Did the Dead Three cultists steal the chests? Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. Sorry. Uh, once more. <laughs> Can you repeat the colours? Red, green, blue, and white. Uh, Zilia, can you uh, can you firebolt the red one? Point towards sure. the red one. Ah, uh, let's call this the red one. Ease of access, you know. Right. Sure. I'm gonna do that. Uh... I'm, I'm assuming I. You're assuming what? No, nothing. Uh, give it Go to ahead. me first, you know. Uh, well, I assumed I overheard a conversation about Tima and then putting two oh, and yeah. two together. Very, it's an echoey chamber, to be fair. You heard fighting all the way around a corner. No way. She's gonna watch, she <laughs> fires that off, and she does, you watch that once more. <laughs> washes over and you see that sheen of magic seem to take hold the chest is not even singed uh, you want me right. to detect magic on it 
Uh, no, I think we kind of know what magic it is. Um, what color was that bow amulet that I got? Color was the what you got? The bow amulet from the Death Head. Red. Can I? Is it like a like an amulet slot? No, but there is very much just a keyhole. I jammed the amulet into the keyhole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep, yeah, he's gonna start mashing and crash. Nothing. <laughs> it. Yeah, everyone hears that crunching and scrunching, but nothing. <laughs> I need to get this box open. <laughs> <laughs> the amulet is also completely un untouched by that. Even the paint looks is immaculate. It, can I ever escape the amulet? Is it like is it like a, a hidden hidden latch? You know, maybe that the key is inside. Sure. Maybe maybe uh... solid carved. Right. Whittle that. Whittle. Fuck myself. Out of wood, carved with the red paint. I'll eat this place. Well, I think it has something to do with the statue, maybe, but. I, I I don't know. Can I go check the the chest and try to figure out if they are linked to the statues or something? Mm, give me a religion check. Religion? Yep. Uh, these particular gods and that particular god they don't gel. One is Three of these gods are very much agents of chaos, the other ones are a bit more lawful than that. Is she, actually? They gave her a stat block in this out of curiosity. Is she lawful? Fucking changes every book. Yeah, no link. I'll give you that one, no link. It's very much, uh, Tiamat's. Oh, she's straight up fucking chaotic. Noted. Yeah. Mm. Maybe we can find a key somewhere else in the dungeon? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, are these crates or are these just... They are crates, yes. Can I pry one open with a crowbar and see what's inside? Yeah. If you burst this particular one open... Uh, let's see. Because there is a thing. That's always a good sign. Cool. Uh, roll a d20. What? <laughs> if you blow up again, I swear to God. <laughs> you find a small rack. Do you know? Look, the rack has glass tubes in it. As you pull it out, you see four glass test tubes with corks and the rest of this rack is filled with empty test tubes. All four of these test tubes have a very potent deep red liquid in them. These Can I roll something to determine what it is? Can I smell it? Or? These are colloquially known as potions of healing. Oh. Oh. No, maybe we should open the other chest where the crates to see if there are more things in them. But you... I'm not good to look at traps, so... Did you say there were rats in here? Yeah, just six rats just meandering about. Could I try and speak with them? You can oh, speak nice. with animals, Corvick, really. Oh, this is my punishment for doing this to an ox, isn't it? <laughs> is you cast speak with animals. Gee. Then I'll suddenly start hearing instead of the tick tick start hearing oh, Hurry, hurry, we're lost. Oh, what's in the boxes? What's what's in the what we got? Oh I'm just gonna watch this one starts chewing its way through. You know, looks over straw lads, it's, it's just straw, it's it's all straw. You know, oh, and enter the box. Would you like some food? You know, watch the all stop and look up. Don't move. He can't see us. His vision is based off of movement. <laughs> that, that's my. That's my hearing, isn't? He understands us. 
Rick, what do we do? I don't know, John. I don't know. Given the rat's <laughs> fucking names. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Would you like some food? Or what, what, what you got? Uh, I got some crumbs of bread, hardtack. I got some oh. meat. Oh. But, but oh. it's only if you. If I can ask some questions. Can you ask them if they know where there is a key? <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, uh, possibly. The question is, do they know what a key is? The key for the the, um, the big chest, the uh, colored chest there. Like, okay, do, no do we'll, do we'll, we'll get there. They're at not the, the smartest. At this point, we are just running pure calm. It's one of the rats gets up on its hind legs yeah. and leans on the leans on the box. What are you looking for? Can we uh, soiree with you in these here quarters? Well, I'm hoping to see if there's any uh, areas that we might have missed where they might be hiding stuff. My friends wonder if you know how they open the chests in the the big chests in the other room. Oh, those! I came in with those a few days ago. I hey? wanted to try and break them open, but all attempts failed. We've even tried to take a little knife knife, you know what I mean? And uh, poor Greg there, you're gonna watch as Greg smiles, missing a tooth. Yeah, bloody powerful. Yeah, uh, you take them, we don't want them. Can't get into them. That's fair, and do you know if there are any rooms or areas that the people here use that are like normally hidden or anything like that? Difficult to get into? Oh. I drop a whole ration pack and sort of sprinkle it out in front of just a... You know, watch as the leader of this rat pack just kind of leans back and thinks Bar barring the wall to the south, ah, there's no big hidden areas. Bar, bar the room with the gas, don't go in there. Yeah, we, we, we lost poor Jono down there. RIP Jono, gone but not forgotten. Yeah. Don't know what I've done to these rats, guys, alright? I need help. <laughs> well. well. What did they say? Did they they said. Were... Then place something? It, there's no hidden place, as obvious. Once we threw the secret door, but they said to avoid the gas room, which we know about. They said that the other guys brought those chests down here about a week ago, and there's nothing they could do to get into them. Um, and even the rats tried, and they couldn't even chew through or anything like that. They said we can take them if you want to. Hmm. But they said no... Well, no hidden door, but don't go into the guest room. Where are yeah, your they said sheet? Does it say you can speak rat? I can't speak with animals. You did. She can't understand the animals. No, I'm asking. Uh, I, I'm asking him uh, if the. I thought he read that. I did say that. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the guest. Room. It's on me. Sorry. 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 I thought he read that. Yeah, I did. I did repeat what they said basically yeah. yeah I don't know I, I'm not sure I understand this dungeon but we should check if there is a, any hidden room because we are kind of stuck here mm. I look at I look at Zelia and I go what are you doing that they captured you for oh you know I I lost my memory and I don't remember much because I'm in like uh, chronology magic and it went wrong and I lost all my memory so I have no idea why I was here I just remember bits of my life Can I try and see if she's uh, keep telling the truth or hiding anything? Yeah uh, Zeria, just roll me a flat d20 uh, Tom, roll me an insight Oh, oh. Yeah. 
And let me just adjust that. No. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, as far as modifier is cool. Yeah. Um, and she's genuinely, as you see, as she's seen this, and the eyes are darting, there are pieces of information missing. But as this information is missing, and she strings one word at the next sentence, you can see she's trying her hardest to not think of the word, but actually think of what happened. It's, she's struggling to actually give you this information herself. She herself isn't 100% sure on it. I don't know what most of that means, but we could try to help you find someone who could bring back your memories. That'd be nice, because I remember reading that much. But first yeah, we yeah. need to get out of this place. The, did we check all the crates here for... I, I, I assume Jacken was doing, doing that while we were all talking. Mm, yeah, no, I, I, I guess... Or, I don't really want to take the open everything myself, you know, if you guys want to open it. Should Mort we for traps or did you already check for traps? Um, I can I open traps. <laughs> can I open one of the crates? Can open crates if you wish. Uh, Rupert, you were about to say something. I uh, I was basically going basically going to ask. Um, we happen to have uh, contact with the uh, flaming fist higher up. We could try to um, set you up with some sort of protection given your situation no uh, okay okay and uh, secondly um if you think you're well enough i mean you have been taking quite a beating of late uh could you help us are, are those chests at least safe to move Yeah. Yeah. So if we touch them and pick them up, they won't explode us. Yeah. Okay. Do you think you could help us carry a few out of here? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Come with me now. Yeah. I yeah. love this man. I, I, he's so precious. Falls you down. I've experienced playing on? this. I've experienced playing this simpleton, for I am a simpleton. <laughs> <laughs> Can we keep him? <laughs> it's not a pet. It's a human being. You're a human, not a drow. You, humans are just another kind of animal. <laughs> <laughs> Gar, keep the internet out of curiosity. Sorry? Can I check uh, for you... traps on this one and open it? Are you doing anything out of curiosity, Gark? Um, how how long has this been going on for? This whole ordeal of this? <laughs> 20 minutes, we'll say. Right, you're going to uh, stood there getting some breath right now? No, I'm going to assume that they're going to be fucking about for uh, a long while. So, uh, or is just sitting in the, the water. Uh, he's hammering away, making smith tools. Okay. Now you can check the box for traps if you wish. Yeah. Investigation? Yeah. No. It's a box. Very simple and plain box. And if I open it, there is nothing in it? Roll a d20 and find out. Okay. This particular box, you sift through some straw. And as you do, you find six set of handcuffs. Okay, oh, I they were just kinky shit. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, think. Wait, how many that boxes are there? 
We There's a lot of boxes. To, we can try to open them all so we get stuff, like... Uh, do you want some handcuffs? I, I have a lot of them and I'm not strong. Can we just open all the boxes and share it amongst the party, equally? Yeah. Well, I agree. Fuck it, it's gonna save me time. Uh, Corby, you doing anything else with your rats? No, just chat to them if need be. We should take them. Use, then run through it all. You find 10 days worth of rations, a bag of caltrops, four tinder boxes, nine standard daggers. You find three flasks. Only way you can describe it. Bulbous bottom flasks with a tumultuous sparkling orange liquid inside. It seems extremely unstable. Do I see the flask? Like, do I see them take it out? Not from where you are. Walls. I can I drink from the flask? No, bro, okay. <laughs> that, that might be just fire in a flask, you don't know what you're... What are you doing? I want... Okay, um... Oh shit, I don't want to make a game. Alright, well, never mind. If people come up to me, then they come up to me. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh... That's... Uh, can I get some, can I get some code words for other rack game? <laughs> oh, this is this is the best group. <laughs> oh, love it. I hate it here. You hate it everywhere. Well, can I identify what's in the flask? Bro, give me the fucking flask. <laughs> you need a specific set of tools to be able to identify what's in flasks. You need oh gee, I wonder who the fuck has these tools! You need alchemist tools, you need to meet a certain set of DC. Other than that, you can drink what's in the flask and bear the consequences if there are any. Don't tell him to, but you can't Wait, drink it. What does it smell like? Oh god. <laughs> you ever smell 99% isopropyl alcohol? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's whiskey. That, but considerably stronger. It burns did the nostrils through the eye. It's whiskey. It's, it's iron brew. Can, can I just... Um, considering I'm at least proficient in alchemist supplies, could I try to identify it like by like correlating it to something in my memory? Yeah, I, I, I did. Specifically I did. gonna request you have the tools at play. Sorry, I, I heard right. him talking about this little dinky potion. Yeah. Because I am literally going insane. Yeah. Can I, uh, like, can I like, get my hands on that potion? I say, as I'm looking up from the tools I'm creating. Yeah. Well, I don't need a yeah from you. I need a yeah, yeah. from Jack. Yes. But hey, I'll uh, take a break from my channel Divinity and uh, ritual cast this. Do you have the pearl? Yep. I bought it uh, the first time I got my paycheck. That's we went, we went oh no, we went to your Oh yeah, there we go. Spellcast component identify. Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh shit, I do need to remember to pay that loan back. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. That's a bottle of Alchemist Fire. Um, I'll figure it. Drink it. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, uh, actually, um, let's see. <laughs> Okay, um, an asshole. No. Uh, Jack, if you drink that, you'll burst in flames. Uh, just throw it, chuck it at enemies. Yeah, we could use it. Doctor, do you want the flask? I'll take it. And before you can even, like, take it back, he just swipes it from your hand. <laughs> Wait. There you go. Glad I could be of service. Thank you very you much. Know. I need to make code words for Corby now. You've made a wonderful discovery, my friend. <laughs> Do you say that to Corby? Yes. Oh. 
Are you going to pay him for that? You didn't ask for it, so no. <laughs> ask for it, eh? No. I did ask for payment for this fucking the Smith tools I'm making for you. Well, I don't have the I'm not, I don't have, even have the money to pay it. You don't have fifty gold? What kind of cheapskate are you? <laughs> I have twenty. How much money do you have? Twenty. Twenty. What the fuck? <laughs> I have twenty gold. Did you go to the fucking you're brothel? Rich. Where did all your money go? You're rich. I have only ten gold. <laughs> what the f- How many gold you do you have? Why am I running around with fucking tramps? How much gold do you have? I I had uh, eighty. For what? Because you got a loan. No, I uh, spent well, yeah, the loan but... already. This isn't a loan. This is just what I gathered. From what? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> From people, corpses, you people, people on the street. A- anyway, so I think it's safe to say that we'll, um, we're carrying these chests. So wait, who can actually carry these? Because he seems pretty strong. I don't know how strong you guys are. How much do they weigh? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Oh. Oh, they've all got fucking dirty. Nice. Nice. Um, each and every one of them weighs a different amount. Fucking brilliant. Okay, so do we get to. Oh, I thought they were all 69 pounds. That's really um, nice. One is 70 pounds. One is 37 pounds. Um. One wants me to do some fucking math. That's nice. Let's call that 100 pounds. And. Let's call that one 80 pounds. But I, I can carry the heaviest one. Um, uh, what do you need? I can... Hmm? Uh, can I attempt to carry the 80 pounds or... If there's enough room in your sheet to do so, then yes. I, got, so... I barely have enough for the 100 pound one. So, 133 plus 80. Uh, what colour is the 100 pound test? Let's call it the red one. Alright, red. Yes. We, we could just have Warlock take it. Uh, well, yeah, but Warlock can also carry the 17 and 37. Yeah, but we're more likely to be able to carry the other one, other two. Well, I, then, or I can then, carry the hundred one. <laughs> well, you, yeah. Who cares? Oh, you can carry the hundred one. Yeah. I'm, oh, I didn't. I'm almost over encumbered, but you know. Oh. Okay. Then how much can more more uh, more more blah, blah, blah. how much can more block carry? One of them as well. He could carry any one of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then how about we stick him with the 80 one? What the fuck is wrong with him? I think I could carry the smaller one. Wait, how do I know if I could carry it or not? No, I can't actually. Yeah, at the bottom of your inventory um, tab, there's a blue bar that like, shows how much you're carrying or your total weight. Oh, gotcha. <clears throat> so 80, 80 I want. Uh, I uh, continue my Smith tools crafting. Right, so I think so. You're carrying the hundred pound one. He's carrying the eighty that leaves the seventy and thirty-seven. Well, I'm just gonna I drop. Can... Sorry, Sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm just gonna drop the chest I currently have, and that drops my. I rip by 25, so I just carry the new chest. Okay, so who? I mean, if there's so... enough, let's like, if there's enough, like, if there's enough people that can carry the weight, it doesn't matter who's carrying what at that moment in time. All you need to be okay, aware of is, all you need to be aware is, your hands are full. Okay, gotcha. Okay, 
Gotcha. Yeah. Well, then I got the eerie panel. I'm talking to my log looks. Are we uh, leaving soon? Mother is expecting word of me. I don't feel Could you sick. repeat that? Could we? Okay. Mother the only reason, the, the only, you know, um, instance where I'd like to keep this dude around and alive is if he's not allowed to talk and is leashed and <laughs> walks at all fours. Because I, I, I give me give me ten more minutes and I'll fucking break. I'll stop. I'll, I'll do something. I don't know what. What's wrong with me, Mark? What, what? what do you mean, bro? I get brain damage listening to him, trying to decipher what the fuck he's saying with a fucking speech impediment. <laughs> if you knew what right? happened to him, you'd feel so on, sad. On top of that, don't trust him. <laughs> he wants out of here because, you know, he was kind of sent here to be killed. Mm. Don't worry, we, we'll be taking you to the, uh, the man who can hopefully help us and you. And, uh, I'm gonna give him a little whisper, and, uh, regardless of what Aura, or regardless of what Arby say, you're fine. You're doing great. Go ahead, though. You look great fucking next, though. It'd be hard not to. I was whispering, I don't know. It's all about an echoey chamber. Passively, you heard him. <laughs> Anyways, I'd say let's get out here. Yeah, let's go. Me because I was like captured and I don't know the way. These all start to move, some more than others. I'm just gonna move more lock all the way at the very end for the speed of it because you just have destroyed everything. Assume he's with you at all times. But really, really, more luck. You don't, you don't go through there now. Oh, there we go. Is he's go through this macabre area of everything? They use of slaughtered. Some bodies have rats nibbling away at them. A feast for some. Okay. The blood drying slowly. Who is playing with the door? Yes. Odd! He's done all of this. And you'll probably sleep soundly tonight, you monsters. What do we do? All the murders. They deserved it. They were dead three culprits. <laughs> They're not people. That makes it okay, does it? Yes. Especially since they're murdering other people. Corby. Yeah? Oh, uh, I didn't realise that you were having an issue with the thing. Yeah, I'm too refresh. Pop you with the rest of the group then. Cool, cool. I'll also delete this one foot template. And if it all bunch up, I could move us all, but he's all decided to take the hard route. I'll tell you, don't get the easy route right. now. This is your fault. You've made your bed, you'll lie in it. Tick, okay. Tick. Let's move through the thick, bloodied water. Corby somehow managed to make his way back. Ah, uh, reminds back? me of the field hospital. Do you want me to move you back with the grip, Tom? Sure, yeah. yeah. I don't know how you go back there, but bang, there you go. I uh, should be here now. Oh. Ping you there, mate. Yeah. Still start 
Morning to the three see uh, aura standing. This particular Very area friendly. is quiet now. No whips, screams, bangs. There's a wall there. I've moved it to get everyone here. There we go. Bim bang. Enter that duck up there. Or you can see the water seems to still be running the way it was. Almost being pulled under. Gar, get a curiosity. You got a box. You do, if I recall correctly, you have a box in your hand. Yes, that's just jacking. He's walk out into the bathhouse. This is slaughterhouse. People are embedded on walls with daggers through their throats. People tied to the beds and well, not slaughtered, but definitely killed. As you look out, Oops. you see waiting in the lobby. A man. He does, he looks over. So come on. Opening the fucking door. <laughs> right. well, we need to make a plan, first of all. Oh, hey, can I have those Smith tools real quick? <laughs> Um, right. Who's done uh, the talking? Scott, I found myself outside the building, so I did a flanker, but I don't think I should have done. Where the fuck are you, Tom? I'm in the gardens. <laughs> Who the fuck? I came up the stairs. Yeah, I came up the stairs and I was outside the building. Hello, the, the uh, cult is weird. Weird. Uh, are we going to leave? Cultist raises his hand, <laughs> places it in front of you, Zara one. Closes the door ever so slightly. <laughs> oh, I, I believe you have something that belongs to me. Could I, uh, could I drop the the hundred pound chest on his feet? <laughs> Try. We can get a save out of it. I'll, uh, oh, the box you mean? Ah, oh, here you go. And I'll uh, drop it. Try and drop it on his feet. I don't know if you want me to make a check or anything. Raw standard attack. Just, uh... It's gonna poof, down. Uh, give me a d6. Boss, anything? Four, let's go. Four, and just improvise. Boom. It just drops the weight and. <sighs> yes, that's. He goes into his pocket and pulls out this amulet. And you, and you, and then he points to the room with mortal. Whoever's in there, chests now, please. As you emerge from here, you see uh. the figures coming to black leather armor, and they wear strange masks and cloaks. They give them a vaguely dragon like appearance. They all brandish curved steel blades reminiscent of dragon claws. So, uh, we are with the moving company called uh, Primus and Prime. We we would require a small payment before we actually legitimately drop out the boxes, you know, for our services. Uh, failure to comply will lead in uh, reprimanding, possibly jail. I'm gonna ask for the appropriate check on that. <laughs> I am. Um... See, he's gonna, he's gonna try to eke one out. Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't know if it's deception or persuasion. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, you uh, are lying. If, if the numbers are the same. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I'm gonna, just in case, guidance. Well, yep. I kind of scratched my nose before I did it. Let's <laughs> see. Looks at yeah. How much is your charge to leave us with our own property? Uh, so we were the six of us. Uh, it was about an hour of non-time. I suppose that leads to uh, 
I think six gold pieces per, which is about 36 if my math is correct. Which I think it is. I hope it is. <laughs> he watches it. Puts his hands up his sleeves. You know, comes out and places a small gemstone in your arms box. Let's fucking go! I believe that covers it. And what then kind of gemstone some. is it? See, as you see, gl- you're sort of under a light, which is very certain of so As he pulls it out, every angle of it seems to glint and catch your eye. It's small, but it's bright. Diamond. It's small diamond. Ooh. Do you have a worth for it? Or do I need to make a check for that? Over 36 gold. Okay, I'm gonna... Alright, thank you. Uh, we'll be on our way then. After uh, you've dropped the boxes. Oh yeah, that's between you and them, mate. I'm just a uh, foreman. Uh, drop the box. As I say uh, to Martlock. Yeah. Drops and starts walking out as he does. He sees these particular people. He kind of seems to shudder and shake and tries hardest not to make eye contact with them. I'm gonna like, like, uh, I'm assuming, I think I was carrying a chest, so I'm gonna leave mine too and say, hey, it's all right, we're on our way out. I'm leaving. Yeah. I'm gonna drop my chest too, and just make my way out. So, I, w- I wanna, I wanna quietly whisper. Oh, I'm right next to someone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't let's fuck that. them up. Yeah, let's. Wanna, wanna quietly whisper to. Let's show a boot up their ass. Is Corby here? Is Corby? Corby's here. Well, is he here? here? Is that is Corby? He... It's called oh the God. disguise. Looks so fucking different. I wanna whisper to him. Ever so, ever so quietly. Alright, fuck it. Um, they, they gave me a diamond. I. I reckon they have more. Should we just, you know, steal what they have? Uh, we can might, make... might, might not be just them. Wait, why are we giving in to them? Can I can I have a look around? Because Mortlock said something about his brother spying on us with imps. Yeah. Give me perception with disadvantage hmm. don't there bother <laughs> uh, don't really see anything around there's no shadows the sun shafts are normal it's a nice breezy day in Baldur's Gate but you know maybe you've been watched maybe you aren't who knows and I'll, I'll go to it early we were tasked to kill dead three cultists. That's not them. Alright, what if it gets me paid? Just as a fun little note, just because I'm curious, since I'm a soldier and everything, and I've fought before, and I've seen people's capabilities, can I attempt to size this guy up? Essentially? Uh, sure. Roll me insight. Perception? Oh, insight. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> He's built. He's swole. Wears a big cloak for a reason. Wears some heavy looking armor for a reason. Rupert gives a nod and just simply says, Let's get out of here. <laughs> yes. I'm with Corby. Make your way back into the big, deep, wide city that is Older's Gate. Gonna change our map. Don't forget Mortlock. (laughs) He's always with you. In spirit. Oh, wait, he's right there. (laughs) Where are we going? Can I get this uh, diamond uh, appraised? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I identify not do the same. 
Hey! Cast identify. No, I'm. Um, you know, I've recently taken Mind Reader off of my resume CV and I've packed up the crystal balls, but I assume this was obviously a ritual casting, correct? Yeah, didn't I say that? No. Just making sure, you know? No. Um. So, tis not magic. Tis a diamond. Does not require attunement. And oh, that's worth about 50 gold. 50? Got fucking scammed, mate. You asked for 35, 36. Yeah, well, it's diamond, mate. I hoped it was enough for a revivify. It needed. <laughs> a small diamond. <laughs> oh, so well. A small diamond is still worth a lot. It's a revivify for a small gnome. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I'll, I'll got ninety nine gold, but bitch ain't one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I guess anything else you guys want to do? Because I'm ready whenever to see the captain. Yeah, let's go. I'm ready to. Thank you. I have no idea why I was there. So. Yeah, let's take it out. Actually, wait. Oh yeah. Rupert. Um, yeah. Where yeah. would someone go if they needed to be? checked out for healing, particularly like head injuries and stuff like that. Um, Sorry, did you say? Hey, hold on. Yeah, I'll get to you in a second. Uh, Corby called me for first. Sorry. Uh, I was gonna... And, uh, is there such a place that provides such services in Baldur's Gate? I believe it was... Oh, I'm checking my journal real quick. I was I was gonna say something, however, yeah, it's, it's not that place. Believe me, that's 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 a side quest we don't want to go on. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say the house of healing. No, 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 no. That's not the type of healing we're thinking of. Okay. <laughs> that shar. Um. Uh, the Shrine of Suffering. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but let's... There's a small... There's small... Yeah, there, no, there is, yeah. There's a small place. Not far off from the Basilisk Gate. A church-type place, if you will. Dedicated to all the gods where numerous clerics train and take donations. I gesture to Zedio and say, our friend here says she can't remember anything from before being trapped in that dungeon. Uh, the yes. only thing I remember is I was working on something and it went wrong and I have no memory after that and just that there is took me and put me in that sarcophagus. Hmm. So essentially memory loss is what you're suffering from, right? Yeah. Now I'm assuming you don't remember taking any blows to the head prior to this? No, but I know I was working on time magic. That, that, that's my kind of magic. That, that's about it. Time magic. Is this familiar to Rupert at all? Has he heard anything about this in his tenure? Mm. Odd whisperings here and there and old tomes written by old mages of the times but, you know, not in recent years. That's surprising. He would like squint at her. That's some that's some old um, that's some old magic you're talking about. So. I'll, I'll see if I can take you to a library at some point. Maybe we can find a tome or two, but uh, I, I do know a place where we could possibly get some healing. Uh, it's a place. It's a. Sh it's a place with shrines to multiple gods. Okay. And actually, one last thing before we head to that area, I would like to, on our way, uh, because uh, screw paying fifty gold, I would like to spend. The 20 gold that I have on actual smith tools. You... If that's alright. There was an extensive 
period of time, which Rupert has probably perceived, where Aura was actively, I'm not not very obviously, making a set of Smith's tools, and now you spend the last remaining of your tramp ass fucking homeless man gold on a set of Smith tools. We're about to get paid, and also, you're asking me for 50. I don't have 50. If you're gonna get paid, you can pay me. <laughs> Why would I pay 50 gold? When I can get it for 20. He oh, made them 20. with love. <laughs> Bullshit. There isn't a single ounce of love in his phone. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so this source is worth 20? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I thought it was a lot more. Oh, that means that I'm even more rich. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm just gonna go buy a pair of normal Smith tools. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then, uh, I guess if there's nothing else, I would like to head to the gate myself <laughs> with more luck. Ah, uh, it's, it's time to bring back my favorite. Uh, I've also zone. already gotten rid of the gold. Oh no no no, we're playing this out now, so bring it back. Oh, okay. Bring it back, my favourite. There's only one small place, you know, around locally, close to where you are, on the waterfront, that sells all manner of metallic and metal making tools. Small store on the corner. Here. Called Fergal's uh, Forge. You would be the closest, because the other ones I actually the other ones I think actually are on the other side of town. Gotcha. Barring that, there's the rip-off merchant that was spoken of a while ago. <laughs> uh let's go to the more legit place there. In the waterfront you can see the sun high in the sky, the people walking around minding their own business, some kind of Taking a look up at Mortlock and you know, taking a wide berth. He's a big guy, but he's also, you know, horrendously fucking deformed. Stop being mean to my boy! <laughs> I have deformed hands! He's my boy! <laughs> my boy! My sweet cheese! My rotten soldier! My good time boy! Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'd say it would be that for yeah. As you enter at the small shop, the Smell of soot, iron, and a forge hits you. You look over, and there's all manner of things in display cabinets metal, armor, scale, mail, swords, and the like. And you see this one small man kind of waddling in, covered in soot, blackened to no avail. So he kind of sees you, lifts up a set of goggles, pure white. Oh! Kind of runs forward and grabs a little set of ladders. Kind of comes up to the counter. Hello, hi. How can I help you? Hello. Customers. Hello, sir. Uh, do you happen to have a pair of Smith tools in stock? I'm in need of some. Boy, I am a Smith. Yes. I was wondering if you had any for, any for sale. Smith tools. I need them to maintain and create something. It's called a gun. Ah, oh, like this gun pulls out this wooden thing, big barrel, covered in runes. <laughs> I know these things well. I was thinking something a bit more modified. See, I'm thinking three different types of guns I, I have I, in, in mind. That I need Smith tools to properly make. Uh, one uses you, one burns you, one blows you off the face of this plane. Oh, and then pulls down and comes out with these little tool set, all wrapped up very neatly in a leather pouch. These. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm assuming those are Smith tools. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes, I'm going to need a set of those. Uh, well, what's the going price? Forty. Forty. 
Man's got a yeah, you understand that, right? Bet you feel real stupid, huh? Are you sure? Typically these types of tools go for 20. You're in my shop! These are how much they cost. Because you're not a friend right now. You're a customer. My friends my get the good prices. Hello? Looks at you. Can I tap? Can I tap Rupert on the shoulder? What is it? Uh, discount. 30. For me. Wait, wait if I recall... Is, um, Gar, you you said you were obviously making Smith tools. Yeah. I'm gonna immediately put an arm around your shoulder and say, or I guess where I can reach your shoulder, or where I can reach, and say, Hey, my buddy here, he's also a uh, fellow tinker of the craft. Maybe, maybe you two would get along. Share some, share some uh, knowledge with each other, and maybe I could get a bit of a discount. Do you look at you, Gark? Hello. Size, size Hold up, up and down. Gonna... I'm more or uh, like to create things. I'm very interested in, in inventions and stuff. Uh, I don't really care for discounts. I'm not, uh, you know, a pleb. He looks at you, sizes you up and down, and then Hello. says in a language that you understand. You can if... type it if you want to keep it a secret. Sorry. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, dun, 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 dun. You start hearing is them it, speaking in a rather odd a language. <sighs> this is looking like the greatest edition now. This little conversation goes back and forth, eyebrows up and down as they're Hmm, yeah, cool. Hmm, come We are having a conversation, holy shit. Shut up, we're smooth. As he kind of looks over. Ah, see, I have some competition in this town. However, I guarantee you now, it's for this and he kind of goes under the table comes back up with another set of smith's tools this set completely golden with nice beautiful carvings this here is worth 80 gold i can do better than your friend there buddy he says he'll make them but these crafted by the finest artificers that Baldur's gate has to offer what if I gave you the blueprints for my guns? Not interested. I'm a smith. Yeah, with the shop. Yes, most of these guns require metal. <laughs> Looks at you, or the Look. Hello. I have no need for these, but I can craft these. You're gonna watch as he pulls this huge great sword up. And you watch this is a small man, so you watch his with no effort at all, holds this great sword over his head with one hand. Your trinkets mean nothing, boy. Holds it at this point, the arms up here. This thing is considerably taller than he is as well. Do you have any used smith tools I could just buy? Do I look like a charity shop? These are the finest goods in Baldur's Gate. You won't find better, I guarantee it. Alright, I'll just look for something worse as Rupert turns for the door. <laughs> Your friend is offering worth. What could I do for you, is anyway? He kind of leans in and looks. I just want spit tools, man. I have anyone gun. need anything? I've got these here, kind of pulls out. Numerous arrows of numerous different types, heads that are rounded, pointed, flattened, barbed arrows that seem to streak with silver, arrows that are just a bit too hard, 
I've I've got a question, mate. Hello. Uh, how much would it cost to uh, silver my mace? Put a little silver, uh, you know, lining on it. Layer. Do you have the silver? Oh, I'm afraid I don't, mate. <sighs> would you need it? Because I could go look for it. It drops the price. Well, what's the price to begin with? I'd call about a hundred parts in labour. I can live with that. Here you go. Fifty. Uh, what do you reckon we lower the price maybe a little bit? You know, gnome to gnome. Never mind. <laughs> I'll pay you a hundred. <laughs> I have offered you Smith's tools many times. <laughs> you are in a lower to price of 30. Be glad, because I, I was talking to this gnome and I asked him to raise the price instead, which I think he did actually. Oh, you're, yeah. you're a bastard. Yeah, he raised do I, the price. Do I, get, do I get my platinum piece though? Oh no, yeah, the, you, say, you say that as a make a bit of money. Like, you know, he was hoping you'd overcharge and give him the difference. Oh. You know, gnome to gnome. Right. Gnome to gnome. Um, <laughs> this is this silver ring. Does it happen... Like, do we say that it happens immediately, or do I have to pick my weapon up at a later point? It'll be done by tonight. Just, uh, give me about an hour. I've got a bit of a backlog. Why did he sound Italian all of a sudden? I don't know, because I can't do an Italian accent. It'll be done by tonight. It'll be done. I, can, I can't do an Italian accent either. Uh, Mario's um, right, the best. Thank you, mate. <clears throat> um, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, do you buy uh, Do you buy weapon by any chance? Yeah, buy a few. There you go. I have this this dagger, the one I found on the the guy. How much for that? Oh, he takes the dagger and looks at it. Just to bend it a little. Mm. Pulls out a little eyepiece and starts investigating it. Gets it in there and rips. Starts to basically try cutting things with it. 40. 40 gold. Not about 30. I'll give you 30 gold for it, sure. You said 20, right? Uh, at the beginning, I didn't hear what. Sure. <laughs> Do I... Uh, can I make an insight check or search yes, to see you, if he's, you, you like, can. completely... Uh, you, you can 100% no make an insight check. Yeah, no, he said 20. <laughs> okay, and do I guess that the value is about that? Resale value, in that regard, he's he buys it at a lower price to sell it at a higher price to make a bit of profit. Kind of how all shops work. So, you know, he said okay, twenty. So he said twenty. You said thirty. He's realised that thirty is still quite a good deal. That he can he can work with that. So he's happy to give you that. The bartering okay, thir process. Thirty days. Yeah. Thirty days. Uh, take one of those daggers off your sheet, which I'll do just now. Give yourself yep. an additional 30 gold. Thank you, sir. That's an expensive dagger. It was a plus one. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, I, I asked the gnome that. Sorry for hogging no, all the, the roleplay here. <laughs> well, I can't do anything. He already hates me. Yeah, that's gnome, fair enough. Mate. The gnome looks at you. You from oh, here. Hmm. I'm uh, I'm from a ways away. I'm a traveller. And I could I could set you up with someone if you'd like. He watches. He kind of comes down and walks up to the door and takes his little ladder and 
locks the door and flips the sign and pulls down the little curtain. Um, it may not be something uh, I would buy, but I know just the women. Oh, all right, I can live with that. There is, however, the issues I don't know you, and therefore trust is a valuable thing. I've introduced myself, I've paid for your services, I've uh, born in the same race as you, what more would you like? Your friends? How do I know they're not guards? Well, it would be kind of fucking silly if I sold this while my friends are guards, wouldn't it? Who's to say you're not a guard? You could all be feds. Yep, feds. What the fuck is a fed? A member of all the right. watch. Then how about this? You you dabble with spells at all? Not really. Oh shit! Do you know what a zone of truth is? I've heard about it. Well, I could cast that okay. and uh, give you the what's what, and then you give the location of this missus, and then we can all make a little bit of profit. Okay. All right. Uh, please, y'all, work a little bit with me. Uh, are any of you a guard by any chance? You can uh, make a save if you um, really try and resist. I'm just saying, I've actively said I'm a guard before. Are you sure you want to do this with me near you? Didn't you go outside? I said I went to the door. Oh, I, I thought you said you wanted to the door. try to resist. Wait, I can also Wait. rephrase the question if I can retcon it. That late now. Yeah, I'm sorry. sorry yeah. You can try resist. You've got good enough charisma, I believe. Fuck it. Oh, wow. Oh, hmm. Well, I can say, no, I'm not a guard. I'm not from here. I don't dabble with these uh, city folk. I prefer the rock and stone with it. Hmm. I am not a guard. Did it you? I was going to say, you have no reason to. Yeah, don't tell me that you're a guard. <laughs> I'm not a guard. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't believe you need to make the save uh, for yourself, Eugenia. Mm? I don't believe you'd need to make the save there because of uh, yourself. Because, uh, you know, you can. You, if oh, you're yeah, trying to resist the spell, you know, if you've got a lie and you, you know, they ask about it, but you don't have a lie, they found you in a coffin. <laughs> Shit, mate, I didn't know that. <laughs> Your other friends are awfully quiet. Points towards yeah. Corby and Jackin. Uh, I'm not a guard. Gotta be. This is for the greater good. <laughs> Sorry, background noise. Sorry. Um, I serve the Raven Queen, not the Watch. Ooh. Can I make a check on that name? Is he like fucking coming? What is he doing? <laughs> what is that noise? Eyes narrow. Heard about you a lot. Never quite seen you. It'd be interesting. You can make a check if you want. There, uh. Rupert. Is this, is this a. Is this Religion. a. Religion. God. Okay. Ooh, not that good. Oh! doesn't really come to much. You do know that the name is associated with Shadr Kai. You really only know about Shadr Kai because of Aladrin, as both are polar opposites, one serving the Fae, one serving the Shadowfell, Shadowfell Matron of Ravens and all that. Uh, I think that's a critical role name. <laughs> Raven Queen, yeah, yeah, but to be fair, they're so fucking similar, man. Yeah. Z looks at you. Give you this. He's into his pocket. Flicks out a card. The card, you can see, has a hand imprint on it. Similar to that of the Mercalites, but. 
Instead of being an open hand as such. Or a closed hand. With a missing ring finger imprinted upon it. Have I have I ever seen that symbol in my travels, perhaps? Or is this like a very a... underground niche thing that I would never... It's suppose. very much a Baldurian thing, Baldur's Gate. So anyone specifically from Baldur's Gate could make a history check. Uh, sure. History check? Ooh. If you are, you're from Candlekeep. Oh. Gotta be, mate. I'll, uh, oh, I want to give him guidance beforehand, but... I assumed you were giving him guidance anyway. The way that you assume Lenara and I are guiding and helping. Oh, you get a 13. Absolutely pog. There is an organisation with ties. There's a name that rings about when you see this. Keen. Kilo Echo Echo November Echo. But, as for what it is, you are aware. As he does, the dwarf, the gnome, you know, pulls a little thing up and turns the sign, unlocks the door and takes your mace from your... Speak to the captain at the low lantern, show her that card. She'll make all the necessary introductions for you. Cool. Thank you, mate. Here you go. Uh, go buy yourself an ice cream. <laughs> For your uh, services, so to speak. I'll put in a good word. What's your name? Fergal. Um, is yeah, this a place where I could find uh, charcoal or not at all? Yeah, very easily find charcoal. What do you need charcoal for, out of curiosity? Uh, find a familiar. Don't you have a components pouch? Oh no, it's uh, 10 gold pieces worth of charcoal. Saw it. Oh. It's one of those ones that she does need. Okay, so I'm gonna ask him... Oh. Um, just forgot about something. Uh, could I uh, ask you for... I will buy you 10 gold pieces worth of charcoal if if that's okay. Yeah, put it on the table. And he just kind of wanders off and straight round the back. Just a little bit. You kind of see him coming out with big gloves. Ha, 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 heads! And just throws a big lump of charcoal at the table. Okay, I put it in my bag. Hopefully, it's not too hot. Corby. And All I right. give him the 10 gold. All right, all right, as we like, sort of, as he's busy, I just want him to just, uh, the card. It's a name, Keen. I think it's a zinger. Just be careful. What's a zinger? Someone you need to be careful of. Oh. Well, uh, if I'm going there alone, I'll certainly be careful if you want to join me for well, our shared antics. Just, it's worth saying that the place you'll go to that is where, and I like Jester towards Mortlock, his brother is, so. It's a down of inequity. Shut the fuck up, No. <laughs> hey, stop being mean to my boy. Can I ask Fargal for if he has any better swords available that I could buy? Uh, you will not believe me when I say this is the third time this week I've had to get this folder out. <laughs> Another campaign folder. That's the Harpers. There we go. Fucking Mad Mage folder. Uh. Looking at. Let's see, starts to move his hands round. You can see all manner of long sword, short sword. Some with a greeny blue hue. Some that seem to blind you of the sharpness, and some 
that seem to almost cut the air around them. How much for that sharp one? Oh boy, they're all sharp. I need to know what you're specifically looking for. I could just sharpen your weapon up and call it sharp. And the day. What would you give me for 198 gold? For you, life advice. Uh, gonna watch the scratches. You can get yourself 250. I'll sell you this one here. He points back as you see a sword. Long sword with the hilt rather than being flat seems to curl around and has this screaming mouth face by the guard. I don't have, I've had no idea of the exact fucking image. Got to get another source book out for that one, Matthew. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Is it in here? I thought it was. It's not. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. It has a face that looks like a webcam sup. That. And the cross guard. Ooh. Can I attempt to persuade him to let me put down a deposit on the sword? Certainly try. Better to roll, or would I actually have to try to convince you? I actually want you to try, and then I want you to roll. <laughs> I want you to put in what we call effort. Please, Fergal, please. <laughs> You don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand how much I need this. I need this. I'm being serious. I need this. Begging is beneath you. <laughs> I need this to crush my enemies. Bro, this is just sad. He looks at you. Boy, you are a pathetic what? <laughs> I promise not to sell it within the next 48 hours. If you can come back with the prerequisite 250. So I even pinky promise. So he's, he's, he's let me put down a deposit? He's just saying he won't sell it for the next 48 hours. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I accept. Sounds good. And is that everything else for us? Does anyone need anything else? Can I get a good noise case? This isn't that type of establishment, sir. Alright, in that case, can I get your business card? <laughs> He's in his back pocket and pulls out a little forge with an F carved on it and a little piece of papyrus, papyrus, whatever the fuck it's called. Alright. Uh, you're saying you gnomish. Time. Yeah? Oh, sorry. Uh, for the name? Ferris? I don't remember. Fergal. F-E-R-G-U-L. -E oh, wow. I spelled it right. Yeah. Alright. This has got Fergal Smithery. And what was the other one? Uh... Keen? Keen Kilo, uh, K E E N E. K E E N E. I wonder if I'll ever meet someone I recognize in the upper city that recognizes me. That'd be fun. Yeah, and that name is who Corby told you was a, a zinger to be careful of. Yeah, zinger, binger. It's you. Uh, what was he going to say, Gnomish? As he starts to walk away, you hear him saying Gnomish to yourself. I only kiss those that buy me dinner first. For heading back up to his little register to start putting the money in. I feel assaulted. Uh, that was how much to silver your weapon again? It shows you how bad I, I am at remembering shit. Sorry? How much was it to silver your weapon? A hundred. I gave him a diamond and deducted it from my currency. 
Go. And oh, and I also gave him a single gold piece. Which, in essence, is dinner. Didn't fill his belly. He'll be making his own dinner tonight. With his wife and can't, kids. Can't he just, you know, order takeaway? What type of world do you think we live in where you can order <laughs> takeaway with carrier pigeon? Some... It's still like a guy that can, <laughs> you know, run up to your house and give you food from the dog called Tavern. This guy keeps hearing screaming and it's in this. this I have an idea for a perfect business opportunity. Hear me out. Talking to me or Fergal or the gang? Uh, thinking to myself, talking to my uh, made up god that I have yet to build. Yeah. There's nothing else with you then? Oh. Ta ta for now. He's gonna lose his way back in to the back rooms immediately. I start to hear this. Ting, 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 ting. What do we wish to do? Uh, Can I go look for incense and search uh, for the spell? Uh, incense doesn't have a price, so that's in your component pouch. Okay, do I have uh, that or...? You have a components pouch, yes. Okay, so I, I'm good to cast Find Familiar if I want it, right? No. No. You don't have it prepared. It's a ritual. Okay. It's a ritual. Oh yeah, fuck. Yeah, it's a ritual. Ritual casting is still new to me, I'll be honest. So, as a wizard, you don't need to prepare it. Other ritual casters need to prepare it still. But she, so she can just cast it, spending the time yeah. to do it. I won't do it now. Uh, I just wanted the charcoal to be sure I have everything, and, and that's it. Ah, uh, yeah, you would just need a brass brazier to burn them in. If Where you're being pedantic. Brazier's everywhere, yeah. don't worry. Okay. So, we ready? We got a cotton this way. Well, look at it. Gives a thumbs up. What the? No, please, not all at once. But, I mean, I thought we were just going to head to the captain once we were done. Is that what we wish to do? Be headed to the captain? I'm following the group. I, uh, I have no memory. <laughs> I, I figured that we go to the yep. captain, get all pay. Um, then, as you as yeah. me, back past through the waterfront, up down past the streets, through all manner of places. There are. You know, town's starting to die down a bit. Are get, we being f followed or observed? You being followed or served? Or observed, like watched. There are people looking at you as you just walk by, but again, you know, Mortlock's a fucking giant amongst men. Okay. And, you know, these are an oddball group. Uh, you don't get the presence that you're being followed in that regard. You make okay. a perception check if you wish, but you don't have that paranoid feeling. Yeah. You watch around taking a look. It's. It's hard to tell. Okay. Maybe. You keep seeing faces crop up, but you do eventually get to the Basilisk Gate. As you do, you see coming off of what would be described as a break is your commanding officer, if you will, Zodge. As he looks once more. Well, I've seen it all now. So, uh, someone wish to explain why you brought a patriarch to the lower city? To the He's a witness. To your atrocities, I bet. 
<laughs> no, those are done in private. Then what did he witness? I just heard a Corby. Um, here, and I uh, um, hand over the note. As he looks at the paper. I love props. Okay. Right. What did you uncover atop this damning thing? Watch, he's going to fold it up very neatly. Is it in his front pocket? See? See a look in his face of intent. He's dropping this callous outlook. He's very much concerned. Well, uh, well, well we weasels tends to line up with what that note says. There were three factions down there. We killed all of them, I believe. Okay. And what of the brother? Which one? The Lone Shark. That's a lead we have uh, still to go to, but we felt that if an attempt had been made on the witness once, it might be made a second time. But if he were under the protection of someone who would not want him to disappear, and I suggested to you, then he might have a better chance. You know, watch as he looks up to Mortlock and gestures off to a door to the side. Go through there and just wait. I'll be with you soon. Yous, however, yous have done more than I thought yous would and, well, oh, it can't be easy dealing with cultists. And so, give me a moment. He's going to watch as he goes out the little door. And comes back out. Just holds out numerous sacks. One for everyone. I will take a sack. I will take it. Doling them out. Let me be clear. They can't get away with this. The commander will be here next week. We need this to be cleared by then. If that means Exterminating the bloodline of the Blood Thumpers. Do it. Investigate every lead. Everything you find. If this is not solved by the time she is here, we all go across the sea. And I am not going back to Chult. Uh, understood. Um, if I may, I just sort of like lean in and whisper to him. <coughs> During our investigations, we found suspicions that there is a guard to the upper city, mm -hmm. one called Ben. He may have connections to the Van Thampers. Oh, okay. <laughs> if, if you wanted to deal with that, you're in a better position than us. He's a flame, he was a flaming fist. He watches. He mulls and looks for a moment. 
places up, goes back at the little room, comes out with this rather large binder and just starts kind of flicking through. Up at city gates? Yep. Flicks him through. How long ago did you see this man? He was on duty, it would have been like earlier this morning, earlier today. That was. Hmm. You're gonna flip the ledger around. You can see all the names that were on there in alphabetical order Aaron, Alan, Charlie. But, uh, now Ben's on watch, mate. I think you've been duped. Still. Then you need to find out which one it is. Oh yes, of course we'll investigate that. Like I said, I, uh, all lines, yeah? Do I remember what his face looks like? You have a rough idea of certain things. Was wearing a helmet and such, but... That's not very uh, helpful, is it? Something. Looks, we'll investigate this. Uh, use investigate that. If I may ask, what will be done with the uh, Mortva? I believe it's best that you not know. Sir. For his safety. Sir, I really believe he poses no threat. I and he, he like more like has been sent to the room, right? His safety. Oh, sorry. I I apologize dearly. I didn't understand. I misunderstood. Then, all right. Then that's all my concerns dealt with. Um, so I'll leave you be. We'll. Be dealing with those cultists, hopefully, in the Van Pumpers. Then go, and don't delay. The last thing we need is the city to turn into a war zone. You know, watch as he turns round as the gates open up, as he pulls a longsword from one side and the shield, and just starts to join this frontline defences. The refugees outside have piled up to the point that it is almost its own small city outside at this point with numerous fires and tents, there's numerous animals and kids and a rabble of people trying to force their way in. The gate no longer gets lowered, it simply just drops. And so are you standing in the lower city once more? The plan and an idea. He's no reason to do. He's no reason to go. And he's gonna all add two hundred gold to your sheet. And I'm gonna like, <laughs> for, like probably. You have enough money to pay me now. I was actually gonna get to that, but I was gonna say as he sort of like leaves and mentions like Warpole's gate. Like I imagine Ripper would kind of grimace, looking back at his tenure as a watch member. And then turn to uh, other matters with the uh, uh, ore ore. Uh, you said thirty gold, was it? Yeah, well, prizes raised due to um, popular demand. It's forty. Thirty-five. Forty. Thirty-five. You can make a persuasion check. Fuck it, sure. Uh, per oh wait, that's perception. <laughs> so, 40 gold it is then. Intimidation. <laughs> well, I figured. Wait, why would <laughs> insight, you... insight seemed wrong for this situation. Unless you want me to roll insight. Oh, no, 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 no. You, uh, you're trying why to. Why would it be in. T I well, because. Uh, I'm. You know. It seems the most logical for this. You could also roll a flat charisma, but it'd be the same. I mean, it would just be persuasion versus persuasion. His modifier is the same regardless. 
Oh. Uh, I see it the way I see it, a D twenty's been rolled. Um Fair enough. Uh roll sec. <sighs> Fine. Oh yeah. Uh Let yeah, you can uh, you can that. you can give him some Smith stools. I'll uh, delete it from my sheet. Oh. One eighty. I've set my. I've already taken away my gold. Here we go. I'm adding Smith to open you anyway. Bang. Um, I have a question. Um, how much was that loan again? The in or uh, the interest for the loan? Uh, I wrote down how much the loan was. Two hundred gold for the loan, and then I think it was fifty percent on top. It was two hundred? Oh. You took a two hundred gold loan because you had to get. A you had to get a pearl worth a hundred gold for identify alone. Yeah, so why get two hundred? Why did I do that? Pretty sure there was something else you were trying to buy. What the fuck was I trying to buy? <laughs> Wait, what? I haven't a clue. I think, you, I think you were offered the two hundred and took it. Oh. Uh, but you, I, did, you I didn't for, have. You went for a higher amount initially, and then were told essentially, "Nah, you got bad credit." Oh. I have no idea what the fuck I spent it on. Because I didn't have a hundred gold on my sheet. I had less than that, so I don't know what happened. Oh, no, I do. I spent it on the alchemist supplies. There we go. You spent it on sorcerer sundries. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, I should have a, a jar of alchemy fire. Because... Remember, we found it in the uh, um, sewers. Oh, uh, yeah. Alchemist fire. I was giving it to it by Q. Yeah. Totally forgot to add that in a sec. I'll pop that on just now. And then, uh, Xavier, was it? Mm hmm? <sighs> Look, as a medical professional, you probably shouldn't be left alone in your state. Would you like to travel with us? And would you like a rundown on Baldur's Gate? Of course, yeah. All right, let's. He's gonna turn the others. Let's go get a goddamn drink. And she just set off into the sunset of Baldur's Gate, ready to take on the next day. The question now comes: Are you picking this up the next day, or are you? Slacking around for a week of downtime. I prefer but we pick this up next session. I'd say we should pick it up, considering we have we have a deadline and the Van Thumpers are active threats. Yeah. yeah. Then, as you just head on out into the sunset, we'll completely wipe all this with a hand wave, take away one or two gold, depending on how good your lodgings were for the night and how much you drank. Before it, you awake the next morning back in the lower city at the mermaid place, the blushing mermaids, after a nice long night's rest. Ready um, to head I'd on like out. I'd like to. Oh, sorry. Ready to head on out next week when we pick this up. Mm -hmm.